Hello? Hello? Fellas? Fellas, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay! I'm not okay, chat! What's wrong? Okay. So. So. Hmm. The new Pokemon region. <laughs> the new Pokemon DLC. <laughs> the new Pokemon DLC. <laughs> Blueberry Academy takes place in Unova. <laughs> Do you know where Chorus is from, Chat? Do you know where Chorus is from? <laughs> Unova! On one hand, I don't think he's even gonna be in the DLC, right? The Scarlet and Violet DLC, part two. I don't even think he's gonna be in it, realistically. Okay, but if he is in it, I'll be happy, but also scared because a bunch of new people are gonna see Colrus and they're gonna be like, oh my God, he's the best ever. And they're gonna be competition for me. And then aside from that, aside from that, Somebody brought up! What if he has a wife? What if they give Colorus a wife? What the fuck am I gonna do then, chat? What am I gonna do then? <laughs> I know, like it, like, like I'm wording it in like the funny way, right? But like, unironically, how am I gonna wake up in the fucking morning if my husbando has a wife, chat? Unless she's like super self-insertable, right? It's like, oh man, literally me for real, for real. How the fuck am I supposed to be okay with this shit? You know what? I completely understand why games like Genshin Impact never give their characters like any romantic interest. Cause it fucks you up, chat. It fucks you up. <laughs> man. I'm not okay. I've been stressing about this. <laughs> I need, I need, I need, I need to do things with my life. <laughs> what if she's hot? I'll consider a polycule. I go drive thinking I'm gonna be tolerating no competition for Colorist Pippa being in real life or in game. You know what to do. Matthew, they were the $10 do it for her. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be commissioning some schizo art of like me murdering Colorist's wife. The pan day tripper thing I'm gonna be I feel when your waifu slash husband could show up in a new piece of media sending your heart rate to 180 instantly. I know! <laughs> when I was younger, this was like how I felt with Kirino Kosuka. I remember, I remember anytime new Oremo stuff came out, like the manga. I remember when the manga was coming out. And every time I would have like a little mini meltdown at the bookstore, like placing my order for the new one. It was such a... It was such a, like... But, like, when you're younger, you can handle emotion more easily! Adopt the add-on link for the 333. What's the status of Pumpkin Kitty? There's one near me. Can send by a fish man if it's super rare. Rare. Also, Uncle works for Nintendo. Cobra doesn't have a wife, but his ace is a lot bunny. Shut the fuck up. Um, honestly, for yourself. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you have a Pumpkin Kitty near you, you should buy one for yourself and you should list it on Mercari, because they go for, like, $130. So you can get yourself some a nice little paycheck anon. I see play there's anger to Dolores. Pippa Cuckark incoming. <laughs> ah! Um If you do that, look for one that has like the pumpkins on the ears, because those ones are more popular. So you'll have an easier time selling it. So about Ingrid there, there, there. Spoiler alert, Colbert's got a husband in the new DLC! That's <laughs> one dollar. What if it's lobby? Fucking kill myself, chat. The only answer is killing yourself! All right, because on one hand, a world where Colrus is in the DLC and he's like a science teacher or something. I want to die and I want to be reborn in that world. But on the other hand, if he has a wife, why fucking live? I might as well kill myself, right? It's bullshit, chat. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. 
This can only end well. Oh, yeah, blown up the game. You thought I already had it booted up, but joke's on you. I was actually procrastinating. I, I, I was stalling because I, I, um, I hadn't installed the game yet. Um, Foxtrot, thing or Dulas, I'm sorry, my server got you to play this. It's okay. It's okay. Let me put it on the screen for you guys. Oh, let me hide this first. He doesn't exist, Pippa, lol. He exists in my dreams. I had a weird dream while I napped. <laughs> Woman moment, talking about dreams and shit. I had a weird dream. I, um... Well, let me take a screenshot. Ah! I, I had a dream I was playing Gary's Mod with Sleepy and Popakin. But it was like... Like a revamped Gary's Mod. I don't know... I, 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 it's a weird... Weird setup, but yeah. <laughs> it makes me want to make it an actual reality. But probably not playing Gary's Mod. Okay, hold on. Live now. It's the Snoot game. Mom, 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 mom. Very specific, very specific. Very specific. Uh huh. Echo noise, for the $2. Heisenberg is so last year, I guess. Listen. Heisenberg was husbando material. But Chorus is like. Soul husband though. I divorced Heisenberg. I divorced Heisenberg. You lot think one three four. Did you like my ex's cosplay? You know what, Mister Mister Muskrat, you were kind of based for that actually. <laughs> Elon Musk posted a fucking picture of Amber Heard in a Mercy cosplay, and it was the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. It's like, I don't know. I don't know, because, like, I saw the post before that, right? Where where they were talking about, like, how how Elon asked her to cosplay Mercy. He was a real one for that. He was a real one for posting that, because let's be real. Amber Heard is pretty fucking attractive, all right? She's batshit insane. She's batshit fucking insane. She's a fucking lunatic. Did this warp my cup? Oh, my God! No! My hot cocoa cup from the Cincinnati Zoo is warped! No! My hot cocoa! I have tea in it today, not hot cocoa, but it's a hot cocoa cup. God damn it. It's okay, it's old. How do you warp a mug? It's not a mug, it's a plastic cup! Ah, Man. Tea gets hot. It's for hot cocoa! Man. The tea was too powerful. The tea was too powerful. I put honey in it. Even though I don't fucking like honey. I know that catches a lot of people off guard every time I say that. The channel is ten dollars. Thank you for playing the best visual novel! I'm I'm excited to play this and then at some point play Goodbye Volcano High. And then we can look back fondly on the characters. And then when we see them in Goodbye Volcano High, we'll be like, Oh god, what the fuck did they do to our babies? Which is what I'm gonna be saying if they put colors in the new DLC and they don't... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why would you put hot liquid in a plastic cup? Because it's made for hot cocoa! It's a hot cocoa cup chat! They sell hot cocoa in it! And joke man thing in front doors. Pipkin Pippa Sippy Cup. Shut up. Nick likes in front doors. It's a hot cup of Jover! Shut up. Also, I have some caffeine juice. As if my heart rate wasn't high enough already. We both think you're coming big baby! Woo! Still a membership. I can sleep now. See you in the bar tomorrow. Piba! See ya! Uh, Eric Dimonizing. Oh, sleep up! Eric Dimonizing in front doors. You're losing your mind over an imaginary person that doesn't exist that might have a wife. Are you fixing the holler? I'm. Listen. I'm part of a... I'm part of a minority, chat. I'm a... I'm an oppressed minority. It's called Yumei Joshi. You wouldn't understand. Except for you fucking blade, when it's like your GFE streamer. Not me, by the way. I'm not GFE. I'm talking about like... I'm talking about like... You know when... You know... Okay. 
People act like they don't have this, right? People act like they don't have this. But I guarantee there's some streamer that you watch or some YouTuber where if you knew that they were in a relationship, you'd at least be disappointed. I just so happened to take it a step further and commission art of myself with a character. They're not a streamer or YouTuber because it's Colrus from Pokemon. I'm like, I'm like you, but fictional. That has layers. Yummy, yummy melon caffeine juice. Or maybe you're also the same way with fictional. Chat, do you guys know what Yuma Joshi is? You know what? You you know what a Yume Joshi is? I will... Hold on. There's like a funny meme image. There's like a funny meme. Bam, 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 bam. Give me a second. I'm, I'm trying to put a meme on screen. But I'm a... 67-year-old boomer named Sue Ann who can't... Here we go. <clears throat> the si the nineteen year old Yuma. Okay, I'm not reading the top left one. I'm yelling! Entire motivation to survive death game is the next chapter of Gotcha. Reads lewd dojinchi of her husband though and drools in public. I don't do that because I don't go in public. Makes lesser Yumejo too intimidated to approach her at cons. Would murder a child for merch. It's true I would if there was official Colrus merch. I have the I have the little card sleeves. I've been tempted to order a bunch more of them. I just recently ordered some of his Pokemon cards and I got I got like a $30 display thing. It's like this brick. It's it's a this $30 display brick. And um I wanted to put Colrus cards in there, but like I I just got some I I I got the I got the Trimander Elite Trainer box. And I pulled, I pulled the, the gold, the, it's like, oh fuck, what's it called when it has the three gold stars on it? It's like a, it's not like a, it's not a super rare or a secret rare, what the fuck is that called? I don't know. I got a really rare Artisone card. Um, and it's like, it's like a, it's like a $50 card if it's, if it's, um, mint condition. It's like the best luck I've ever had. So I shoved that in there for now. Anyways. Ah, uh, uses her Yume Joe honed compassion to help others. It's true, me and Sleepy, we exchange skebs, or we're trying to anyway. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find, find stuff for Sleepy. Sleepy, she saw stuff, uh, anyways. But I bet they were too always understandable, I would Minecraft a child for less. Yeah. One year older than her husband, though, garbage tradition crunched and added to the heap. Okay, well, not that part, not that part. Uh, Groom's literal 16-year-old boys on mobile gacha. Not, not that part, not that part. I think Colrus is probably, like... I, I had Ken and Colrus is in his like thirties probably because I mean I assume he's got like like a PhD and shit he's like a fucking like gigabrain inventor type uh, screams autistically a three D version of Husbando gets him to respect her as as an odd function never seen three D like three D model maybe uh, so hungry for eat a bag merch that she makes her own. I've not done that yet. I want a colorist eat a bag, but I'd never be able to take it anywhere because I'm pretty sure I'd be the only person in America with one. There's other there's other colorist bands. They just happen to be in China, <laughs> in China and Japan. There's one Japanese fan that's very dedicated. Um. Dwells in the dark. Not a filthy for Joshi, but a PR Yama Joshi only for her husband now. Goes brawless, so husbando has easy access at any time. Never not horny. Okay, well that part's not true. And MVP! Yeah, anyways. Let's play the game. <laughs> Let's play the game. Chat. How did we get sidetracked like this? What a master should be here with five dollars. Hey, Pippa, just getting over stomach bug. Go figure, go on a business trip and get sick three days in. Oh, that's fucked up, man. I hope you can still enjoy it, though. I hope you can still enjoy it, even though you're even though you're sick. You need a drink, Pippa? I got the hot tea. I got some aromatic water, and I have my caffeine juice. I'm all I'm all drunk up. Matthew, where are you work? Thank you for the ten dollars. Put some barbecue sauce in your hot cocoa for Fang. What the fuck? That's sick. That's that's degenerate. 
Barbecue sauce in your hot cocoa? Listen, motherfucker. You put cayenne pepper in your in your hot cocoa. And hydrated. Surprise thing for boys. What if they give Colrus a wife? It's okay, Pippa. Welcome to the club. I just ignore all those husbands. self insurgent surgery works wonders. Mm. Mm. What? Why? You guys have never put cayenne pepper in your hot cocoa? Are you dumb? You gotta try that, chat. You gotta try that. You gotta put a hot cocoa. You gotta... You gotta put cayenne pepper in your hot cocoa. Hmm. Right now, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm trying to empathize with... With Super Hazel. I'm trying to... I'm trying to take the words of my seniors and... My... 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 My, my senior... Um... Internet retard. I'm trying to... I'm trying to channel that. No thanks, I'm good. You're dumb. I've tried it and you don't like it! You're crazy. Blue oil works better? You do what with hot cocoa? I'm hot? I do fucking... What? 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 Okay. Anyways. Anyways. No, you're crazy. You're crazy. Cayenne is just French for chili peppers. Is it? Paprika is just bell pepper. Okay, let's start the game. Trigger pointing in front door. Stop traumatizing sleepy with your colors obsession, Pippa. We traumatize each other, all right? <laughs> We play the game now. We're playing the game now. <clears throat> January 6th. Year 201 M 2020 BC. Volcadera Bluffs. Weather conditions? Cold as balls. It's my first time living close to water. The idea of marine layer is new to me, but I do understand morning mist. This was like it. Except, infinitely more shitty. The heavy fog makes navigating to my new school more difficult as I fail to see anything five feet in front of me. Like a runt of a tree planted in the sidewalk that I swerve to avoid. It's my first time having to walk to school, too. My new apartment is in an awkward spot, opposite side of town, yet no school or public bus to take me from there. It's my first day at a new school. The second half of the first semester of senior year. I had six months left at my old school. I can't even imagine the kind of hell those six months would have been. But this... I should take my mind off of it. I whip out my phone and consider the best way to make people upset online. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Chad, I'll let you guys decide! Which way, Western man? All right. <laughs> Reply to the obvious shill thread, or bait the obvious underage poster. Has a door, I think, for lawyers. This game is my third favorite romantic comedy. First is The Wedding Singer with Adam Sandler. Second is Silver Linings Playbook. Hoping for inverted empress. Wait, is this the Pippa biography? Shut up. You two told the children. <laughs> What is this a parody of, Yik? Yes. Hold <laughs> on, right, another sip. I like to end the polls at like a thousand volts. Wait, wait, thank you for dollars. I impulse purchased that Lewin print. It arrives tomorrow, but I didn't think about where to put it. Any suggestions? You should put it in your closet. So that way nobody sees it. <laughs> or they're gonna think you're a pervert. It's really lewd! It's a really lewd print! It's a nice print, but it's lewd! Ah, uh, I used to have... Okay, I'd like to qualify this before... I shouldn't need to qual... Okay, you know what? You know what? Okay, so... Before anybody comes at me... Not that I'm making a statement either way, but I'm just- I'm preemptively defending myself, even though I shouldn't have to. When I was a minor... I had... Sussy prints of other minors on my wall. As a child. Not like... So 
super lewd or whatever, but like... I had posters of lolis chat. Okay, anyways. The thread goes 404 right as I'm ready to post my well thought out reply. Better hide my phone before someone sees fit to take it from me. The only human around town, I think. It sounds that... Oh, it's the sounds that reach me first. The chatter of people milling about. Bro. It's been too long. It was only three weeks. <laughs> I can make out the building now. The fog shrouding gives the... Oh. The fog... Ah! The fog shrouding gives the school anonymous... Motherfucker. The fog shrouding gives the school an ominous vibe to it. I look at the name written on the arch over the entrance. Volcano High. Yes, so It was weird waiting! Leave me alone! Perfect setting for a horror game. Or maybe a shitty W.A.D. The, oh, the attempt at humoring myself just made me feel more alone. A check of my phone says I'm 30 minutes early. Wonderful. I moved to the entrance only to see all of the steps occupied by students. Their eyes turn to me, expressions of confusion and contemplation. I can feel their judging stares, the same that had haunted me for four months previous. Oh, she's cute. I can already picture what they're thinking. Dude, check it out! Is that Death Note? Is that a skinny? Where's his spear? Aren't they all like, spear checkers or something? But he eats his own kind. They probably see me as some kind of circus attraction and nothing more. Ah, huh. I'm the freak show among this cereal box mascot crowd. Taking acid is not nearly as colorful as going to Volcano High. I should write that down. As I write, write that down on my phone's note app, I notice the surrounding students stopped looking at me, which is good. I can peep around the friend circles without a problem now. Not like I'll ever be part of one anyway. That Lumi? Huh? Talk about wanting to stand out. I never thought it was possible to look like you were from a black and white 20s cartoon. She does differ from the other Technicolor students though. In the worst way possible. Uh, oh yeah, she's staring at me. With that look. Fucking hell. Has she ever seen a human in her life? I fucking hate that look. Contempt. Judging. Everyone that has looked at me like that never proved to be anything more than an asshole. Like, I'm the anomaly here. She's just as dumb and insufferable as the rest of them. She's probably no better than me. Miss, my snout is so big I can land a plane on it. Go back to your friends. Huh. She did. I feel like I should say something. I noticed that all this time my knees were weak and my arms were heavy. Mom's spaghetti. My feet carry me over the soggy grass as I look for somewhere else to be. On the side of the building is where I find sanctuary. Yo! It's literally you, chat! It's a small alcove of sorts. Al alcove. The pavement is cracked to bits and the shrubs surrounding it are overgrown. Even the bench, cracked paint on rotted wood, held between two concrete legs, matched the abandoned vibe of the place. It was perfect. I flop down on the wet bench and the violent crack from it makes my heart drop. Almost perfect, but good enough. I feel a tightness in my chest and my, long, my lungs fight to draw in air. Head in my hands, I can fully understand what I've done now. Six months in a new school. A year on my own in some rundown apartment in a town I know nothing about. All on my own. Three weeks. It took a day for me to want to change schools. Three weeks to make it happen. 
And now, this is my life for the next year. I think back to my old man's ultimatum. Once the lease is done and on either college or the service, I don't care which. Would you happen to be- at Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me get that one super chat. Bottom ending, Dolores, the protagonist's name is Hentai. Uncle Halding, a Dolores bro that's high school era gym. So Calden Company. Holy crap, guys, I think this might be me. Alexis, thank you for the $2 class of 621. Nick, thank you, Dolores. I joined in immediately here. You're a pervert. Well, you are. Would you happen to be Anon? I, I look up. The bench broke down. Now nah, you fucked. I lay on the ground, ass hurt from hitting jagged concrete and splintered wood. Thank God for jeans. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I groan. Never better. I instinctively apply my chill guy facade in the presence of strangers to hide how uneasy I am today. A hand is held over my face. In my pain-addled confusion, I take it. Naser! Not Na Naser? 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 Right! Right! The hand tightens around my own and pulls roughly. The force is enough for my feet to get under me, stumbling back up to stand before the pair of strangers. It also felt like enough force to pull my arm out of its socket. Oh, Nazer like laser. Nazer's the dude? They used orange font, so I wasn't sure which one is which. God damn it. Uh, sup? Hmm. You're Anon, yeah? I'm glad we found you! Who are you guys? Why do you know my name? Blonde could get your sick, Saccharine. Um, wait, what voice should I give her? Chat, what, what kind of voice should she have? Like, Valley Girl? Or maybe, like, more like Innocent? I think she's like... Oh, yeah, she's the student council president. So maybe, like... Your voice, shut up! Genki? Hmm. Matthew Roy Crook thing with the dollars. I think it would sound better if you narrated with your lisp. Shut the fuck up. Where are my manners? My name is Naomi, student council president and your guide. It's my sincere pleasure to make your acquaintance, Anon. We're your welcoming committee. Uh, okay then. Is that really... Oh. Is that really necessary? I had this prepared just for you! The orange one, Naomi, hands me a brochure. <laughs> Volcano High in You, A New Beginning to Adulthood. The title alone makes me gag. The orange one, Naomi, looks at me expectantly. The brochure is full of typical tribute... Tri 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 trivialities? Tri trivialities? 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 What the fuck do you say that? You did it? Tri trivialities! The fuck? College prep, financial assistant, after school programs. None of it matters. As if you want to go to high- Alright, go to college. <clears throat> Babe, I've got some stuff to take care of. Naser looks back at the school entrance. I follow his eyes and see some people trying to lift a large speaker up the stair of the schools. Fuck. <laughs> Stairs at the school! I'm surprised they could be ESL but no first language. Fuck off! <laughs> uh, oh! I'll see you at lunch, right Naser? She looks dejected. <laughs> of course. Smooch! Nazar pulls her into a hug and nuzzles his muzzle against hers. Is that how dinos kiss? Gee, thing with my door is rap god. Shut up. He leaves, running quickly to assist with the heavy sound equipment. Ahem. 
I turn back to Naomi. She smiles again, though there is a placidity to it. So, Hanon, why did you transfer here? The question catches me off guard. I freeze like a deer caught in headlights, scrambling to come up with any plausible answer. It's an innocent question. She can't have known, could she? What did Mom and Pop put in front of the transfer request when they shipped my ass here? Uh, I... You, uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I focus my attention on the brochure out of embarrassment. Oh, Daniel Sierra, they weren't too large. Triviality. Shut up. Lunch. Right. I'm getting kind of hungry. What about something to eat? Yada yada. Herbivore. Bacon tofu. Disgusting. Wait. Hold on. Carnivore line. Filet mignon. What the fuck is wrong with this school? Is there a soup kitchen or something around here? Oh dear. Anon, are you in need of financial assistance? I can figure things out on my own. Don't worry too much about it. Oh, the school has programs to help its less fortunate students. The principal here is great! Come on, I'll take you to him! The absolute last thing I want to be doing is asking for handouts. Uh, actually, I... Naomi grabs my hand and... Hmm... I hope you play I want to hug that gator and give your VTuber model a wheelchair. What the fuck? Uh, it's so soft and smooth and surprisingly warm for scales. How lewd. Day one and I've already fallen to such depraved lows as hand holding. A little SD thing for the two dollars. Hey, Anon is literally you, Pip. Shut up. Here we are, Anon. Principal Spears should be here to help you with your money situation. What? Oh, right. Naomi knocks on the door. Uh, what voice for this character chat? We haven't even seen them. Stay your business! The new student needs financial help, Principal Spears! Oh, gruff? Okay. <clears throat> Lend him a five! I think he means the loan program, sir. Tell him to come in later. I'm dealing with another student. Seth Rogen. Very inverted thing with Oh no, this is one of those VNs, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, wait, who is this? Ah. Uh... The fuck do you mean I have to clean up after? <laughs> the orange parasophil... Fuck. The orange parasaurolophus. Fuck. Parasaurolophus. 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 Para 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 oh god. Chad, I listened to Dinosaur Podcast. I should be able to pronounce these fucking names. Parasaurolophus. The orange parasaurolophus expression quickly changes from whatever that was to the same smile she's had up until now. Well, Anon, why don't I show you to class? Homeroom should be starting soon. Right, homeroom. I take out my crumpled schedule from my pocket. What dino podcast? Called I Know Dino? Naomi takes the slip from me. And blows my eardrums out with a squeal capable of shattering glass. <gasps> we share first period in English together! Come on, I'll introduce you to the class and you'll be able to make all sorts of new friends! Yay me! 
masturbating until I stay in school, guys. I follow after her into a classroom on the second floor. The seats were being filled with students. I take one near the front, knowing I'll have to introduce myself. I'll probably be doing that for all my classes. Dino Podcast, are you five? I don't know, Beowulf, are you? Are you too old to have fun? Fuck my life. The artificial ring of a bell blares from a speaker on the wall. Within, everyone waits as the teacher finally enters the room and shuts the door. <laughs> oh boy. Hold on, let me take a sip. <laughs> <clears throat> Today you have a new class of the volcano. Hi. What? And on Kun, please come up and introduce yourself. <laughs> Naomi coughs and makes a subtle nod up. Oh! I stand from my seat and face the class. Once again, all eyes on me and the tightness in my chest returns. I inhale deep, willingly, or willing, willing my erratic heart to slow. Don't get that in my- DON'T BE RACIST! Uh, hey. Again, those eyes. Just like three weeks ago. My name is Anon. I, uh... Just like every day for the past four months. I don't really have any hobbies. I wanted to flee. Hide away. Anything to avoid those judging stare- or judging eyes. What was your old school like? My throat clenches. I think back again to it all. Uh, I... There's whispers now. The hushed tones. Silenced snickers. Blending with the ever-present stares. My heart hammers at my chest, and I am sure that they can all hear it. See the cold chill racing over me. I don't could. You do not have to answer that. His words snapped me out of my trance. Only Naomi was looking at me. The rest were preoccupied. Either talking about their winter break or catching up on sleep. They've all been ignoring me the entire time. Please return your, to your shito, Anon-kun. Hi, now class. That was nothing like my Japanese enemies. <laughs> Make little mouthing from doors is not time, but not up swearing. Mr. Suki continues on, drawing what little attention there was to himself. I sat down, finally feeling the blood that had caught in my legs rush up, leaving me lightheaded. And I probably have to do this for each class today? Double fuck my life. Awkward introduction after awkward introduction, the classmates that couldn't care less kept me anxious the whole morning. And there's still the rest of the day to go. No subtitles, just like that one time I had a layover in Japan. What the fuck, Moto? <laughs> Eventually, lunch comes around. All the edible stuff is well outside my price range of fucking free, so I settle for a pseudo pizza. The kind that becomes a viable weapon if you leave it alone for ten minutes. No time to waste after exiting the line. I scan the lunchroom for an open seat. I thought I had found a decent spot in the corner when disaster struck. said disaster was a hand grabbing my shoulder and turning me about. My plate of pizza-shaped cardboard threatened to smear across my shirt. I fought the momentum of the tray until the hand that had spun me stabilized it and me. Whoa there, nearly dropped your food, Anon. Yeah, whose fault is that? Yours? 
I, I swear to all that he's good and holy. Wanna sit with us? What? Wanna sit with Naomi and me, since you're new and all. He points to a table where the living pink sugar rush is waving. God damn it. I don't want to make a scene. Now, Mark Green experiencing for $20. Your Miss Swan impression is an A plus 5.0 GPA. Okay. Sure. Do not sit with the weird kids. Too late! Before I even sit down, the barrage of questions begins. So, what do you think of Volcano High? How about your classes? You seem... I just nod along, starting to not pay attention. You looking forward to the rest of the day? Not really. All these introductions, you know? Should I move this over here? And then it's more like I'm... Oh, no matter. Uh, Nora I think I'm gonna be picking Pippa Golden Pink Sugar Rush. Shut up, since I to Nora's VA Pippa is my favorite Pippa variant. Uh, oh, that's a slur, don't call me that. I get you. Hard to talk to people you don't know, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. Rabbit Rackham, I could always imagine pulling out nuggies right now. Mm, nuggies! Well, last period I tripped in front of everyone. Talk about a first impression. I don't think they care too much. Have you had any trouble since then? Do you have enough money for food today? Oh, you're short on food money, man? Not really, I just gotta sign up for some handouts. Naomi is starting to look disappointed. I'm only picking up on Nasser's interjections. If you need a bit more extra chow, there's gonna be free refreshments at my... S uh, at Fang's concert after school today. You're what? F Fang? Your brother or... Sibling. What? Fang's gonna have some extra pizzas for the show. You could take some home. I, uh, don't know about concerts. Not really one for public events like that. Alright, man. Just thought you could use a few opportunities to make friends. What was that? I'll assume that wasn't meant to be malicious. I'll consider it. Hey! Don't leave me out of the conversation! How about I help pick you up some cheap food after school? I know some great vegan shops in the area! My, <laughs> my stomach rolls at the V word. Maybe another time. Sorry. So about that concert, Nazer? Dinner and a show. Sign me the fuck up. So what did they play? Music. Music! Yes. What kind? The kind you listen to? What? Well, what genre? The good kind? You don't know, do you? Nope. Well, free food is free food. I look at my pizza, noticing something is wrong. I test it with my plastic spork and watch the cheap utensil shatter to bits. I curse life for a third time today. The dreaded ten minute mark has passed, rendering my pizza only useful... Only useful as building material. Oh dear, Nazar, why don't you split your sandwich with him? But it's my sandwich. It's fine, we can split my vegan TLT! Neither shudders and looks at his own foot-long Philly sub longingly. Sh sure thing, babe. Don't you always so reluctant on his sandwich? Vomiting intensifies? Uh, since ending with Tindle... Oh, I read that. Wait, I know I missed one. Oh, I missed a bunch. Um... Jin Rollins and Dolores, he looks like Ikea man and Melvin Merkel Hopper thing Dolores. What does snoot mean exactly? It's their snoot, it's their muzzle. It's the it's the long part. Oh my thing Dolores, be a pippa's best of it. She's an herbivore, yeah. He tears the sandwich in two and hands me the larger half. Here, Anon. I will never forget your brave sacrifice. Dragon Cooling with Dolores, is this a healthy relationship? Mm. 
With that, we all dig into our meal. Hmm. After school. My classes after lunch were the same as before. By now I had rehearsed... Ah. By now I had a rehearsed introduction that only the teacher cared about. My classmates were disinterested and I would sit down to be forgotten. I hope the rest of the year is just like that. I just want to skate through it all. All that's left for today is the concert and dinner. I wait outside the auditorium with Nazer, who was checking his phone for messages. Right, the thing says the show is starting in a bit. See? Nazer turns the screen to me. <laughs> okay, sorry, Fang. Piss off, is the pizza here? You can have a slice, but after that you GTFO. FWR? Like Franklin W. Roosevelt? Nah. Fucked wing retard. Fang's words, not mine. Is your, uh, sibling always like this? Fangs. I wait for him to continue. Well, um... I mean, kinda? Glad I'm an only child. Nazar glares at me. Fang's still family. Ah, sorry, just saying is all. World War II happened in this universe! <laughs> Nazar deflates. You're good, Anon. And yeah, they're family, but Fang's just so... So... Difficult? Yes! Difficult, and I don't know why. Sounds rough. It is. Like, I know sh they care, but Fang doesn't even want to be around me. Hmm. F finally, the door is open and I smell the cheesy, heart-clogging goodness within. Sweet. Come on, Anon. da 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 Can't think of the noise. If you tame Naomi and Nazar, you'll have an early game berry gatherer and useful scout just bonk them unconscious and give them some food. Trust me, I've got tons of dinosaur game playtime. You're a fucking dork. Hunter, Amazon thing where the five guys my balls itch when I play this game. Is that a good thing? What? I'm a dog thing with two dollars. Nazer, yes, dear. Uh Becca noise thing with two dollars. Is this a hobo story going anywhere? Well, we'll see. That's a sign of cancer. Is it? Well, let me take another sip of my caffeine juice. Now that there's no music, so we're sitting here awkwardly in silence. Art gamer. You should watch Michiru. Michiru plays lots of bark. Dun dun dun! Alrighty. A caveman of a man holds open the door for everyone. Wait. His massive hand stops me. Uh, yeah? I'm guided to the side, away from the crowd that's filtering into the auditorium. So, how are you feeling about our lovely school, Anon? Uh... It's the spear-shaped pin on his label that reads principal that informs me who this giant is. Uh, oh! Oh, it's, uh... nice? Cleaner than my old school. He guffaws and slaps his chest. You can thank your classmates for that. What? Now go and enjoy the show. N yes, sir. Have you seen Primal? I have not. I have not. This is the character from it, though, isn't it? That's the that's the that's the cartoon with the dinosaur. Literally, spear from Primal. I've not seen it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody says to watch it. And I've never watched it. Oh. I do need you to come by my office tomorrow for some paperwork. I nod and go back to the door where Nazar is standing, holding it open for the last of the audience to go inside. Mm. 
me grog principal good. Nazar leads me and the large crowd into the shitty school theater. No, you hold on a moment. This is a nice school theater. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, my school theaters were the auditorium, man. It was just a fucking auditorium. It just where the gym. It was, it was a gymnasium. It was a gymnasium. It was where assemblies were held. It was where they did their stupid fucking theater performances and shit. No, fuck you. I bet you have... I bet you have cushioned seats. Technical pants are dancing on me. He reminds me of my gym partner as a monkey. The show on Cartoon Network. I didn't like that show. I thought it was stupid. It was a stupid show. Nazar leads me and the large crowd into the... Oh, I read that. The foyer has tables with boxes of pizza stacked taller than me. You can... Oh. You can take a couple boxes after Anon. That should help you out. Who the hell got all these anyway? I did. I take a box from the stack. Others have already started stacking their plates. I check the logo on the box. And to get so many larges from Dino Mo's Pizza? That's a couple hundred bucks though. Meh, about a month's allowance. A month? That explains the disaster of a jacket. So, about the actual show? I'll check on them. Be right back. Left on my own, I stacked my plate up with some quality grease top delight. I lean against the wall, chewing bits of Supreme and observing the rest of the crowd. Suspiciously wealthy furries, yeah. Oh, hold on. Take a sip of tea. Another shit show. Oh, another shit show. She's so stupid. They even bother? Bunch of losers. Everyone seems to share the same sentiment. So why the hell did they even show up for this? Neezer finally comes back and opens the door to the main hall. The crowd moves in, though I hang back so I can talk with Neezer. What's with them, Neezer? What do you mean? The crowd, they were talking mad shit. What? Nazar grasped at the air, unsure what to think or do with the moment. I think he's angry. Holy fuck! Whoa! Wow! Ugh, I should have known. I don't? What are you talking about, man? I brought them here so Fang has an audience. Oh. Nazar's phone- oh, Nazar's phone rings. Holy not- I didn't think about doors. I turned Alex Yick into light. We good now. What? He moves aside to answer it. F uh. The voice on the other end is loud and shrill. Yeah, I- He holds the phone away from his ear to save his eardrum. Uh, okay, okay, I- Call ends and Nazar sags. I've gotta leave. Seriously? Yeah, Fang doesn't want me here. Said I'll ruin the show. Harsh. Look, whatever happens, promise you won't hold this against them. They're actually a really nice person once you get to know them. Nazar, why did you just murder the English language in cold blood? Within, I see the rest of the audience huddled in groups around tiny sa tiny snack tables. Even went through the trouble of switching out the seats for them. Naomi said it'd help. With a huff, Nazar turns away, begrudgingly leaving the auditorium. I enter the hall and take a seat in the back, away from the rest of the crowd. The lights dim and the curtains are drawn open. Oh boy. Crusader Lugosi, thing for the $10 this while I'm facing this visual novel to get any sort of attention, especially by Mayoshi. Hope everyone enjoys it. It's pretty interesting so far. I like... I like... Mm, it doesn't have what... Mm, 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 I, won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't review yet. I won't review yet. I enjoy... I enjoy the little, the little one-liners. So far. The most. Okay, anyways. 
On stage is a trio of people my age. I think Fang is the drummer. He doesn't look related to Nazer. Maybe it's the main front woman? That must be Nazer's sister. Well, Then why the whole confusion over her sex, for fuck's sake? I'm just getting thrown around today, I don't know. She looks familiar. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Instead, the purple one begins plucking her bass. It all went tumbling down from there. What I thought was a guitar sounded horrifically wrong. Far too heavy. The lead guitarist was using a fucking bass. And then the vocals kicked in. Its horrific screeching combined with a mo melodious shredding on a bass created a cacophony equal to hundreds of cats ritualistically sacrificed. I fight the urge to cover my ears. I don't know too much about music, but even I know that you don't use two bases in one band unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh no! Oh god! What were they thinking? I look back to the crowd to gauge their interest. Surely I'm not alone in thinking this is an absolute travesty. <laughs> they still fucking suck. <laughs> Time for another extinction event. Imagine a, 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 I can't read all that. The crowd was standing, jeering and laughing, and with, with whoever said that. More words were said, but the laughter eclipsed them and the music. Wait, what happened to the music? On stage, the trio looked panicked. The drummer was inching off stage while the purple bassist was about to break down into tears. But the front woman stood there, stood her ground. Aww, she's kinda cute. No, oh, I don't know what voice to do for this. Bob and your doors, what is a cacophony? It's like... Oh god, how do I describe this? Cacophony, it's like, it's like shenanigans. It's like, um... A lot of, a lot of things happening at once. Is that... Is, is, I don't know how to describe it. Let, uh, landing with 1,000 clip arts. They're singing Pippa the Ripper. Shut up. No Pippa? A clusterfuck of sounds. The opposite of symphony. Okay, there we go. You aren't saying it correctly. Cacophony? You're one guying me. Animal small cousin, your Dolores. Cacophony. Cacophony! Is that actually how you say it? Cacophony? Oh, cacophony. Listen, chat. Pronouncing words is hard! Emphasis on second syllable. Yes, but I've heard both. The company. It won't, it won't pronounce it for me, what the fuck? A harsh, discordant mixture of sounds. Tango bingo tango mango, then you large gift thing, an easy voice, you're gonna be using it a lot, ah. Oh. Cacophony, cacophony, cacophony. I didn't know caca poo poo was specifically about music or specifically about sounds. I feel like I feel like when I've seen it used, it's usually referring to like I think like Discord is like a good way of putting it, like something that's discordant. Which I guess Discord is also a word rooted in music, but I think. Oh wait, no, it's not. Is Discord? No. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Cacophony is bad sound. Phonia sound. Hmm. Dissonance. Discord is chaos. Discord is the app of Discordant. Yeah, Discordant is often used with sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about words, man. Okay, um... 
Um, what to do for this? Um... Oh god, I don't know what kind of voice. I assume all my voices sound the same anyways, but, um... Um... I have a language stream when? An entire stream about, like, etymology or something. Tomboy Pippa? Cool girl voice? What is a cool girl voice? British punk? Angsty teen? Um, goth edge. Um... Fuck you! She tossed her bass aside, raising both hands and proudly displaying a finger on each of them. Fuck all of you! No one would want to fuck you, bitch! <laughs> that struck a chord with her. Oh, uh, somebody else. It didn't sound any different. Sorry! I watch as she grabs her bass and takes the arm of the purple one, rushing off stage with the pink drummer. Oh god, I can't take this. I'm gonna grow a six-pack from laughing so much. I'm just gonna grab my pizza and leave. I turn toward the door and Principal see Principal Spears. A fierce glare freezing me in place. And none. Ah, oh, fuck. His voice is even more stern than this morning. Yes, sir? He looks to the crowd and then to me. I don't want to hear about any of this come tomorrow. I expected some goddamn maturity from you, Anon. You'll be an adult once you graduate. Uh, why me though? I've taught so many students and I can tell these things. His hand lands on my shoulder. Its grip was firm and it weighed on me. Listen here, Anon. You are not the only person in the world. Everyone's fighting their own battles. The hand squeezes before pushing me towards the door. I want to see you in my office first thing tomorrow. Now get out of here. This is the only warning that you'll get from me. Next time, it will be campus cleanup. Behind me, the principal's voice shakes the room. Oh, sorry ass, am I going to have to suplex? Back in the foyer, I see some boxes of partially finished pizza left. I consolidate them all into a pair of boxes and make my exit. The sun is starting to set now as I make my way home. You are not the only person in this world. Wait. You are not the only person in this world. <laughs> I don't know that already. There's like... The classmates that all ignored me today. Naomi's annoying ass. That fucking caveman of a principal. Nather, who's been a bro? I misread it twice, did I? What do you mean I misread it twice? You are not the only person in- Oh, in the world. In the world. Whatever. Wrong what? Fuck off! No, not this- Who cares, Jet? Who cares? Are you guys really gonna get on my ass over this? Have you guys ever watched any streamer play a visual novel? Alright? Have you ever watched any Let's Plays of visual novels? You fuck up some words and you just move on, Chat. You just move on! Oh my god. God, this fucking honey and spearmint. Fuck. Terrible. Nazar sis. Oh. Shit. Hmm. The next day. The bane of all sleep echoes violently by my head, swiftly erasing any traces of slumber. Still, without the energy to turn the alarm off, I stare at the ceiling for a bit, 
recalling the events of the last few days as an exercise. The school, if you could call it one. My new friends, if you could call them that. The band, if you could call it such. Great idea, Anon. Start the day by dissing everything you've done so far for your new life. No wonder you're so damn popular. Finally, I lean out of bed and turn off the alarm clock. I have a good 45 minutes before I need to be at school, and it takes 20 to walk. That leaves 25 minutes to get ready. With practice movements, I execute a proper combat roll from bed, tackling the floor and headbutting it into submission. She keeps misreading? Dusty, play a fucking game and listen to this or something. Stop reading the fucking dialogue as I talk. Fuck you. Fuck off. With practice... Oh, fuck. My foe... My foe defeated. I groan in victory. My new bed is half the size of what I'm used to. The hardwood, or is it vinyl, floor is cold as hell. From the purview of the floor, I look around my room again. If it doesn't sink underneath your feet, it's probably vinyl. Like, real, real wood floors are, like, nice and cushiony. And then vinyl, it's like, it's got, like, tile underneath it. So it's... Not as comfy. But then there's some wooden floors. There's some wooden floors where the wood is, like, really hard. So it doesn't... It doesn't, like, cushion. Wait, what? Hardwood floors! What? Have you guys... What the hell are you on about? Hardwood floors! You can have real wood floors with an underlayment? I guess. Brown wood? No? Older wood floors have a lot of give. Yeah! Or have a bit of give. Yeah. Depends on the wood. It does depend on the wood, but I said that. Totally not I ending for Lars. Grillkin, Dev, and chat? Hello, developer. Sorry, I went on a tangent playing your game about hardwood floors. Anyways. From the purview of the floor, I look around my room again. A tiny, one-room apartment with only a computer, bed, television, and fridge. A whole year in this shithole. Guess I gotta take it one day at a time. Picking myself up, I slide into day today's, and every day's, clothes and pour myself a bowl of off-brand cereal I picked up the day before. My eyes scan over the phone while I shovel my sugary breakfast into my mouth. Oh my god, everyone's saying hi to the dev. Hi, dev! We're all pointing at you! We're all pointing at you! We're signaling you out! Sing signaling you out. I know, people. I don't know if you're real or not, but I'll pin you. How do I make it? Asterisk, scroll, asterisk. Crunch, or a asterisk, crunch, asterisk. Wait, I can... Hold on. I could do this. I don't think you guys would even hear that. I tried crunching. Hi, Dev. Thank you for the... Hi, developer. Thank you for the game. Thank you for making it free. Asterisk, scroll, asterisk. Do it again? Well, we heard. Just barely. Okay, well, I'm not doing it again. Crunch. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not eating. I'm not eating a bunch of shit during this. Like a poorly oiled machine until it runs out of fuel with a noisy slurp. Soon enough, it's time to leave for school. I grab my backpack and slide it over my shoulders. I take my jacket off the hanger and... <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Is that allowed? Is this allowed? I take off the backpack and put the jacket on. I approach the grand building, looking to find a place in line between the other students trundling into the front doors. The halls before class are as crowded as always, with hundreds of students filling in, oh, filing in unison towards their homerooms. By now, I was starting to be able to make my way around on autopilot. I've walked the same path twice already, after all. Even after the longest sleep of my life, I still feel miserably tired and ready to crash once again. I found another entrance at the side of the school that has less students on it. The less, the merrier. I check my clock once again. I'm early. Fucking hell. Should have posted a bit more. Just do it in cafeteria. Why am I here so early again? 
I think I had to do something. Oh yeah. I should talk to Nazer. Give him my version of events. That way he won't kick my ass. Wait. Oh god damn it. The principal also wanted to see me. Shit, probably gonna give me a demerit or whatever rich schools do as punishment. I'd almost forgotten. Please, Raptor Jesus, just let this be the last time I need to deal with stuff like this! Get it over with so I can finally just slip my way through this year. Alright, chat. The choices in this game are a little bit infrequent, so I'll just let you guys... I'll let you guys take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Why is Anon even in trouble again? Because he laughed at some shitty band. And the principal was like... The principal pulled that shit where he was like, I thought you were better than that! And it's like, oh, are you indirectly insulting everybody else? Oh, save first. Oh, that's a good idea. And it's like, but you have to be the bigger person. And it's like, well, why do I have to be the bigger person when nobody else is being the bigger person? Why are you singling me out? Why am I getting more punishment than everybody else? Worst BS teachers pull? No, there's worse shit than teachers pull. But yeah, realistic school moment. Of course it's Renpai, of course it's Renpai. Renpai's fucking fantastic. I sent Kirsha the old Renpai directory site thing that I didn't even know was still around. I forget the name. I was trying to find that game for her that I was talking about, the visual novel where it's like an ultimate where there's like a serial killer and one of the endings is you end up, um... The you, you're the serial you catch the serial killer and he goes to prison, but he's also your boyfriend, so you date him even while he's in prison. But I couldn't find it. I sent her some other cringy old ultimate games, like Frozen Essence and Planets. Your life of normalcy has now ended, or is now over. Whatever the fuck. This is a very close poll. It's literally fifty fifty. It's literally 50-50. Are you guys fucking with me right now? Did you try to balance it? Keep it 50-50! I can't do both choices, chat! Alright. You guys chose... One. At 1.1k volts. Alright, let's go! Save! I did save! Principal caveman can wait. I want to apologize to Nazer about yesterday. I hope I can be nice to him this time. Great job, Manon. He saves you from soy poisoning by sacrificing his foot long, and how do you repay him? By laughing at his sister. There he is. I hope he's not too busy. Hmm. I just realized I don't know what to say to him. I wasn't laughing at your sister. I was laughing with the crowd. No, that sounds bad. Weird sisters, am I right? I might be retarded. I just told him I'm an only son yesterday. Can't help it, dude. Some people just won't amount to anything in life. Sorry. This isn't time to be edgy, Anon. As I try and fail to find some way to explain myself to Nazer, I also fail at actually finding Nazer. How the fuck did I even end up in the tard yard? What was his name? Spitz McGee and the Retard 3? We're gonna find them, chat? We're gonna find them? After what feels like a space of a decade of walking, or really just half an hour, I find the crippled Pterodon being accosted by a very pissed off purple midget. Oh, Fats McGee! Fats McGee and the Retard 3! Said you invited all those assholes! Wait, Trish, you don't understand. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what kind of voice should I do for her? Hmm. Don't cut me off, you great piece of shit! Students are clearing out of the way and just trying to get to their classes. This must be a common occurrence. The diminutive Triceratops, Trish, bows her head and charges at Nazar. <laughs> it just holds a hand out to her forehead. <laughs> Did you pronounce... <laughs> Fuck off! Stop! 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 Dragon Cooling the door do a bitchy kind of voice for her. Is she a bitch? Okay. Get your hands off of me! 
Trish, I'm not gonna fight you again. The principal's already gotten on to me about the lockers from last time. Believe me, I had no idea the concert would have turned out like that. LIAR! I just wanted to make sure you guys had an actual audience. What are you saying? You know what I mean, come on. Ugh! She stops trying to gore Nazar and throws her arms to her sides. Screw you! Even if you weren't trying to mess with Thing! Screw you! That is a woman? It's got boobs. She stomps off. Ugh. What was all that about? Oh, Anon. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. You know, girl issues, right? <laughs> sure. Sounds like she was grilling you about the concert. Mm. Some concert, right? Actually, about that. I, uh... Oh my god. No, no, boss! If you are not in my office within 10 minutes, I swear on my dear family, I will personally mount you on my wall. Ah. A layer of... A layer of cold sweat makes its presence known. It can wait. The office is down the hall on the right. I know the way, but thanks. Nazar waves and heads off. Drake's the ending with the fun noise. Happy birthday, Pippa! It's not my birthday! Getting mounted by the principal? Hot? Lilith, you're a freak! You're a fucking weirdo! Guess it's to the principal's office with me. Again. I'm at the Lord's and mo? I'm thinking about him makes me think about last night. You are not the only person in the world. Poor Nazar, man. Just wanted to help his sister. But it's not like he did anything wrong. Just as I reach the office, the sound of clinking glass draws my attention to the apricot ass pain in some pink raptor. Is that contraband, Reed? Is this male or female chat? Mofa was a prince. What the fuck, chat? Stop being horny! Dude, read, Lamel. Cross eyed, thank you for the five dollars. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Male? Okay. Um, male voices are hard. Hold on. Wait, I can do. Hold on. I'm using a fucking GoXLR. I can swap between stuff. Hold on. Here we go. Bro, you know when I've been in bed. Well, fuck. Wow, this is tripping me up. Bro, you know I've been in a band for like a year now. No! Contraband! In your backpack! Hmm. No, I left my games at home. Naomi face palm. Oh. Naomi face palms are whatever counts as a face palm with a snout. But... we aren't in Britain? You're impossible! Na oh. Naomi hops and returns her focus to a stack of papers on the desk, leaving a satisfied raptor in her wake. <laughs> Works every time. I need to learn how to do that. It's all about misdirection. What? Deuces. Frank Glassner, I think I'm fun Happy birthday, Pepe. It's not my birthday. The fuck just happened? Oh, Anon, I didn't see you there. Just in time to finish your paperwork. Paper... what's it now? 
Go inside, Principal Spears. We'll... Oh. Go inside. Principal Spears will finalize it with you now. Paperwork? What fucking paperwork? I'm pretty sure all the stuff was finished before I even came in here. Mango bingo tango mango thing from those. Please keep the voice changer on, Pippa. Your real mo male voice sounds awful. What the fuck? That's the parry out for the 20... Ending one, let's go! What does that mean? What do you mean, ending one, let's go? Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. What does that mean? You're actually ending five dollars. Hashtag free pop tart kid. Fuck you. You wanted this ending, Nazer Mofos? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Don't worry about it. Okay. Whatever. Probably a detention slip or whatever the principal has planned. I open the door to the cramped office, expecting to see a gruff cave of a workspace. Instead, it was a fairly well-furnished space, complete with armchairs and cabinets of old photos. Pumpkin Rainling realized what was a day! Also, oh my god, Grill Kid, my favorite dev! Picking favorite devs now? What the fuck? You going to stand there forever? What are you waiting for? Sit! I plant myself in one of the armchairs and sink a bit lower into the cushion than expected. Irks of being a human, I guess. I believe I told you last night to be here first thing in this morning. Oh fuck. Shit! Tell me, do I have a stutter? Mmm. Speak! N no, sir! <sighs> Take this as a learning experience, Anon. Punctuality gets you far in life. Yes, sir. I let you off the hook last night because you are a new student. I meant what I said last night. And hopefully not about the whole pile driving thing? Still, I did not bring you in here to lecture you. He didn't? Not many people have to use the school's financial services. Oh, is he poor shaving me right now? Oh, me then come pick the day! What? Financial services? All the paperwork's get- Oh. All the paperwork's done to get you a special lunch card for the semester. You do not have to worry about paying until after graduation. No interest, no down payments, none of that. Uh, yeah. What's happening, sir? You signed up for the financial services, correct? Naomi told me you needed help with food and even had the papers filed out. Na Naomi? Allow me to double check real fast. Recognizing Dolores being poor is punishment enough. Hello, hello, Tinnitus, my old friend. <laughs> oh god, am I stuck like this? Dismiss Naomi. And just to be absolutely clear, Anon did ask you for this, correct? Well, he is in need of, fine, uh, of assistance, right? Otherwise, he's stuck with the budget meals. And on? I glance between the two. It probably wasn't malicious, but still. I'm not getting involved in office politics today. Yes. Oh, lovely! Don't hesitate to ask if you have any other pro- You may leave now, Naomi. Oh, yes, sir. She leaves the office and Spears clicks the papers on his desk into a stack. Hate to do that, but she goes on for ages. Anyways, go ahead and sign here, here, here. Initial here. N date here. Put your name here. I didn't catch any of that. Uh, what? Just kidding. You're good to go, Anon. And don't forget this. He holds out the poorly laminated lunch card for me to take. Just keep in mind, as a senior, this is your last, your biggest chance to figure your future out. Even if you're new to all of us here at Volcano High, we are here to help you make the most of it. Huh. Thank you, Mr. Spears. Mr. Spears nods and gives a small smile. You can come in any time, 
I am always here to listen. I missed two words. Fuck off! Except for topics relating to Estra season. What? What? I sense great exhaustion in that last bit. I think Mr. Spears one last time and hid the homeroom. I don't suppose you're talking about the Dark Souls drink? Hmm. What is this, Tris? Don't worry about it, chat. Someday your parents will have the birds and the bees talk with you. But I'm not doing that. The period's passed and eventually it's lunchtime again. I've been focusing a bit less on class and more on getting a routine down to avoid unwanted co uh, confrontation. Who would attack a thing from the list? Hello, Pippa. Random domesticated rabbit wandered in my yard. What do I do? You should call either your local vet or you should call animal control and you should report that there is a domestic rabbit in your yard. Because uh, domestic rabbits, um, not only do they... Uh, if there's another one out there, right? They can, they, you can, you can potentially have, like, a mass, um... What's it called? Like a flood, right? Bunnies, um... Take or anything for the Lord. Pippa, where do babies come from? Funny you should ask. So with bunnies, um... Um... You know what, I'm not getting... You know, hidden J Power, singer of the two Lords. Pippa, you didn't mention your girlfriend is a T-Rex. Oh my god. How can you tell if it's domestic? Sometimes it's really hard to tell because there's some um, wild rabbit species, hares that are not hares, but uh, rabbit, like um 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 well yeah hares um where they look like normal domesticated rabbits, but it's it's hard to tell. But if it's like a white rabbit, ninety nine percent chance it's domesticated. If it's like anything other than like brown and black spots, it's probably. Like a little, little black speckles. It's probably, it's probably a domesticated rabbit. Uh, anyways. I've been focusing a bit less on class and more on getting a routine down than to avoid unwanted confrontation. It's like it's only me and the teacher in class, phasing out everyone else. Face connecting everyone else out! Sorry, Marcus really zinger delays. Rabbits are food. Shut up. I followed the flow of students towards the lunchroom, mindlessly looking around the hall. Oh, looking. Sorry! Sorry, let me correct myself! Let me correct myself since I have the fucking uh, uh, visual novel Nazis in my fucking chat! I followed the flow of students towards the lunchroom, mindlessly looking about the halls! There we go. Sorry! Bahama thing, boys. Which one tastes the best? No! Look, man, thing, boys. Dino eggs, dino eggs, dino eggs, that's all. Okay. Passing by the athletic awards case, a decent amount of group photos have Nazar front and center. Apparently, this school is pretty well known for their track team. No, they don't got much going for them, I guess. In a similar vein, Naomi is present in a good deal of the photos in the academic achievement case. The last case was reserved for general awards. I guess trophies that don't belong anywhere else. The school has a few commendation awards for their efforts to stop bullying. <laughs> they pass those around to every school. Looking around, there's several posters on the walls here. All simple slogans to stop the evil bully menace. That doesn't pair anything for the large rabbits. Illegal in QLD Australia. Benjamin Tonting and the large rabbits hide in top hats and multiply magically. Yeah. A fat lot of good those did and me- oh, fuck. A fat lot- FUCK! A fat lot of good those did me at my old school. They always went and- Oh well, fuck. They don't fuck. Take a fucking drink. Shut up. Kai calling with you. Face correcting yourself. Shut up. Hello, David Dolores. We appreciate your verbal diligence, Pippa. Fuck off. <laughs> hi, Chad. Also, hi, Pippa. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kari. Kari? Kari? I don't know. Any, 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 any pronunciation Nazis in chat gonna get me? Fuck you. They always went all in with those efforts. One time, they even got the whole student body into the auditorium to watch a short movie. Some frail, pasty kid gets pestered by a chubby, buff bully. The kid ended up trying to run away and got hit by a car, with the credits rolling over a scene in the hospital. Everyone in class just said things like, Man, good thing I'm not like that bully. Yeah, if I ever see a bully like that, I'll help the kid. Then they went right back to talking about me. No use feeling bad about the past. 
scrolling that roll. Fuck off. Say the guy's name, Ah! Here's some funds for Winsock and I get you to remedial ink. Fuck off. I'm here now. With the lunch card in my possession, I'm able to snag something actually edible. I should run the math on how much I'll end up owing, but I feel more like indulging myself. Yeah, that's a future me problem. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. One or two. Black mage dollars. Big ups to domestic pink rabossi. Okay. Alright, those are certainly words you just said. Identification thing for five dollars. Gun butt it. I am. I fucking hate this tea. Holy shit. I hate honey chat. Honey is so fucking gross. Why do people like it? Or even Sandy, thinking from Laura's Grillkin is not a dev. The devs would either communicate via Twitter or their YouTube. Goodbye, Grillkin! I'm unpitting you because one guy said you're not the real Grillkin. Goodbye. See you later, sucker. Quick painting doors. Why does edgy when does edgy student bring a meteor to school? I think at the end. Give <laughs> one guide. <laughs> one guide. Oh well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I'm curious, but we're gonna we're gonna keep this up for the rest of the stream and I'll find out later. He did not look real. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you know if it looked real or not, huh? Consciously one guide. Now ban him! Alright, girl can type in chat, now I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> Why do you keep trusting chat? I don't know. What else am I gonna do? Trust myself? Let's not get too crazy here. Do it, coward! <laughs> it is how it is. A micro nightmare thing with the $50. Update from yesterday showed my Zoomer boxing coach Pippa the Ripper. He's a fan! Oh my god, we then proceeded to fist fight immediately afterward. Don't trust your coach. If they like me, they have terrible taste. In the McDoodle thing for Dolores, Pippa adds seven spoonfuls of honey to her tea. Wow, honey's trash. Uh, excuse you, I added two spoonfuls? I added two spoonfuls? Now let me sip you on this caffeine juice that is completely melted. How long have I been streaming? Oh, fuck. Time's going by quick. It's already, it's already one hour and 30 minutes in. Holy shit. All the ice in my, in my nice cold... Oh, I always forget the name. I got that caffeine powder! I've had it for a long time now. I'm, I'm very slow at drinking it. But it's melon flavor. I love melon flavor. Bubba, Skywalker thing, but Lord, sing Pippa the Ripper for us, please? No. Pippa, you're going at two times speed? What does that mean? Am I reading fast? I feel like I'm reading slow. Cameron Dixon thing, but Lord, your literacy is extra adorable today, Pippa. Keep being phonetically challenged. Oh, fuck off. I, I used to really enjoy, when I was younger, being the bookworm stereotype, right? Like, everybody, everybody just like, Oh, Pippa, you said the book nerd, right? And then I would mispronounce a word. Because, like, you read words, but you don't know how to pronounce words, you know? Because, like, you read them and you're like, Oh, okay, so now I know that word. But you never actually, like, say the word or hear the word, so you have no idea how it's said or whatever. And then, and then somebody's like, Ah! You fucking idiot! Oh, I thought you were supposed to be the book nerd! What the fuck? You don't even know this word? And it's like... I'm gonna go kill myself now. The hang of faces, they give the two dollars, only a spoonful! Two spoonfuls of honey. Yeah, I love doing that. Just core memories, big ass! Oh, fuck off. It do be like that, it do be like that. Especially words from England, they're messed up. True! Nate simple thing with caffeine powder, that's called cocaine! I'm not doing cocaine on stream, I saved that for later. I bet I sing in front of the miss This misreading is gonna be fun when we get to the group Bible study stream. <gasps> Fuck off. Imagine not understanding English phonetics. Fuck you. Can you guys stop making the poll 50-50? Can you stop doing that, chat? I don't know why you keep doing that for every fucking choice. It's gotta be a conscious decision. Stop it. We're never gonna get any 
anywhere. Done. There we go. The scales tipped for a moment. Grab the cookies, you fat ass. Why not both? Hence my tray stacked high with desserts and the tastiest looking sandwich from the lunch line. Looking around for a place to sit, I see the aggravating creamsicle waving at me. Next to her is Nazer with a complicated expression. <coughs> I don't know why I thought he was singing for a moment. Hold on. Funky Rodling and Dolores. It's sword, Pippa, not sword. I meant to say one of those is sword and one is sword, and then I pronounced both as sword. Oh well. Oh well. As usual, voting was pointless. ETMC, thank you for the five dollars. Shouldn't you be applauding our ability to coordinate against the poll so effectively? No. No. Who is it? Who is it that pronounces it sword? There's some there's some fucking YouTuber that I used to watch. Where whenever they say it, they say sword. Funniest shit I've ever seen. No one. No, there's a there's a Octobuscus, no. Markiplier, no. John Tron, no. I don't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was. Shadowversity? Is it Shadowversity? Does he say? Does he say it's Ward? I don't know. Iron Mouse? Iron Mouse says pizza is pizza. Pizza? Something like that. Pizza. And she says, I wrong. I wrong, mouse. Kiara probably does? Mm. John Garrison? Thank you for the two dollars. Pello? Fuck you. Pixar, yeah. That diversity says dragons. Can we ask you a question? Fuck off. I just want to make sure you guys had an actual audience. Shit. Oh, no, I think we're fun, Lord. We give you crap, but your reading voice is sublime and soothing. Also, your voice acting is quite good. Don't lie to me, but thank you. I go and sit across. Oh, I go and sit across from Nazer and Naomi. I see you're making use of the lunch cart. Fumbled there. Yeah. But all those sugars! All that is bad for your health, Anon. The school's vegan options. And I tune her out with the help of a crunchy sugar cookie. I glance at Nazer and I notice he's just poking at his pasta. Nazer, sweetie, you shouldn't play with your food. Uh, 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 oh, Anon, what's up? Not much, and you? Yeah, no, totally good. His following laugh sounds hollow. Nazer. Yeah, yeah, it's just... Fang stayed home today. The concert was a shit show and they wanted everyone to avoid... Sorry. Sorry. Let's try that again. Try that again. Okay. <clears throat> Nazer has feelings for Anon. Oh. The concert was a shit show and they wanted to avoid everyone. I knew I shouldn't have invited all those guys. Naomi places a comforting hand on his shoulder. I, uh, yeah. That crowd was harsh. What happened after I left? Nazer looks at me pitifully. Trish gave me a general idea, but I have to know. You are not the only person in the world. Ah, shit. The band never made it past the first song, and somebody said they still sucked? Nazar grits his teeth. Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. What else? Did they say anything about Fang? No one would want to fuck you, bitch! Yeah, I don't think you want to hear it, though. 
And what happened after? I'm gonna kick all their asses! Why do I hear Grasshopper when she does spear? Hmm. Nacer, please calm yourself! I realize now that I had been laughing with them. I left after that. Principal Spears was fucking pissed. Even threatened to suplex them. Nazer sags, emotionally spent. Noob nut job! Or noob nut. Oh wait! I don't know why my radio name is nut job. I think I'm for dollars. Taran Pippa, where are the Queensboro Bridge jokes? Ah, uh, fuck. So that's why she stayed home. If Fang wishes to stay home, then that's her prerogative. You just need to give him. Oh. You just need to give her some time, Nazer. While she sat, I noticed a strange expression cross over Naomi's face. I know, babe. I just wish I could help them more. Yeah, if you need any help, Nazer, I owe you for the pizza. We finish eating and make a small. Man, neck of the small talk! We finish eating and make small talk until the bell signals us to go to our sixth period. Day two out of however many left is now out of my way. I'm fairly certain that if Nazer found out I laughed too, I'd need to avoid him. Those Cheeto covered claws look like they'd freaking hurt, man. With that drama now past me, I can just disappear and cheese through the rest of the year like I'm invisible. Oh, when June hits, it's gonna be so sweet. Amen to that. Ah. <sighs> Two days later. Alarm is off. You know the drill. Combat roll, headbutt, victory screech! Breakfast, shit posting, clothes. I'm pretty good at this. I think I've finally found a decent routine for the rest of the year. I might have to go easy on the shit posting though. Yesterday I might have overindulged. But. I've succeeded in turning invincible. Not completely, but so far, I'm happy. Even the stupid stuff with Nazer seems settled. I can just cruise through schooling and shitpost in the evening. Perfection. Day four out of however many days are left in the year. So far, so good. It's a bit of a walk, so I get my phone out and start posting on a shitty image board. Baiting people into replying to my post isn't the most rewarding of hobbies, but it passes the time. <laughs> Meteor dodgers. Having jobs. Pick one and only one. And I ought to get a few. Just before I hit the reply button, I sense the air behind me- <laughs> Just before I hit the reply button, I sense the air behind me turn warmer. Yep, phone poster. <laughs> A few wildflowers growing in the cracks of the sidewalk bloom in seconds. She's here. Good morning, Anna! It could have been. Naomi catches up to me. You say something? Good morning! Don't you walk with Nazar to school? Where is he? He went early today, to help set up another student event. Oh, he's certainly someone you can count on for that. He really is! I'm so proud of him! Yeah... Um... Anon, have you seen our lovely award-winning school gardens yet? Gardens win awards? They do! Come on, I'll show you! Actually, wait, I don't really want... Naomi grabs my hands again, and when I come to, we're already there. And here they are! Our school's flower beds! Aren't they just magnificent? Please stop dragging me by the hand. She is right, though. The gardens here are absolutely stunning. Oh, Kitty Sugawara, then come to the bee! I can't tell what's more colorful. The bushes of flowers, or the students that tend toward... Oh, that tend to them. Yeah, the gardeners here do a great job. Huh? Oh yeah, you can thank the gardening club for that. 
Naomi guides me through the gardens, occasionally giving tour trivia. I can't shake the feeling something's on her mind, though. And here's where the freshmen planted flower seeds at the start of the school year! By the end, they'll bloom wonderfully! <sighs> and then, uh... Uh... What's going on here? Is she coming on to me? I want to ask if she's upset about something, but is that even right of me to do? Alright, chat. Alright. You'll see? This seems like a route. Save? Alright, I'll save. Bum, 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 bum. I saved! Fun this was boring. Oh, we finally got an overwhelming victory vote thing. Victory landslide. Oh, I wish I could speak English. That would be wonderful. Boop the snoop. Oh, that's sick. You're a fucking pervert. 915, 956, 947. Wait, the number's going down. <laughs> what? War of insanity thing for dollars, by the way. The devs are Cave Manon on X and Cave Manon Studios on YouTube. No death called Grilkin. Okay. Alright, so got got fucking one guy into thinking a dev was in chat. But there's only one dev. You got one guy. There was a bunch of people. There was a bunch of people saying saying hi dev. But maybe that's because I, I said hi dev. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I got fooled. Oh, hey, is that the dev? Alright. 1,000 volts. Oh. Um, people parrot you, yeah. Mm. Was it short, fat otaku? Oh, is he one of the devs? I'm fucking with you guys. Okay, anyways. Alright. If a dev joins, they'll post on Twitter. Okay, well, I don't have Twitter open, alright? It's okay, I don't think the devs want to watch this stream. Um... Tyler, they were Dolores, but Chad is glad you can't speak English. Fuck you. You alright? Hmm? Something's bothering you, right? Not really. A bit, I guess. I've just been worried about Naza recently. And it, uh, something wrong with him? No, nothing's wrong. It's more that he worries a bit too much for that uh, sister of his. Oftentimes, when I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. I'd just like him to relax a bit more, I suppose. Is that selfish of me to say? I mean... I've never had a girlfriend, but I imagine that it'd be a bit inconsiderate to be constantly worried in front of her. I don't know. Naomi nods her head a bit, staring at her shoes. That good thing with the two lords. when are the eight saints? Fuck off! Sorry, I just wanted to share with someone. Guess I ended up doing the same thing I'm complaining about here, huh? Don't sweat it. She checks her phone and jumps a bit. Sorry, Anna, but the tour will have to end here! It was fine. Hopefully it just doesn't make... My... Oh. It was fine. Hopefully it just doesn't make my allergies flare. Don't end your naser, Pippa. Hey, it's Chad's decision. She waves and runs off to a side door. I should be getting to homeroom soon, too. I push open the usual side entrance and I take... Wait. I push open the usual side entrance I take and enter the hallway that's starting to become familiar now. Still occasionally glancing at the room numbers, just to make absolute sure I notice... Sure, I notice someone in the countercurrent walking past. Dun -dun. It was one of the bass players from the concert two days ago. Hazer said she was his sister, right? Glancing at her for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminds me of something. It was probably just leftover embarrassment from the concert, but she seemed to have a, a lost look on her face. Uh, Metal Tempting or the 50 Hours! 
Fun fact! The song that played during the lunch stop with Nazer and Naomi, it was a rendition rendition of Swan Lake by Sky Coffee. Hey then. Or maybe it was confusion. Oops. Or maybe a mix of the two. By the way, there's something on her mind. I can't help but think that must be... Wait. I can't help but think that that must be how I looked on my first day. But it was my first day at school. She had been going here all year. What's her excuse then? Either way, it doesn't look like she recognizes me. Objective one out of whatever the... Wait. Oh, fuck. Let me, Let me take a sip. Boop that snoot. I, uh, somebody in chat uh, said the f ah my phone. They didn't say that. Somebody in chat said um take a look at that snoot. And now I'm I've got memes playing in my brain chat. I've got memes. Dude memes. Oh wow. Edification thing for a dollar smash. You're a freak. Okay. Objective one out of whatever of the current year is accomplished then. Next one is memorizing the class schedule. And that says it's homeroom in 15 minutes. Homeroom, which I share with Naomi. Ugh. She's just too... sweet. And like... obnoxious. Ugh. I can't find the right way to put it, but she feels so... movie-like? Like an act. Day four, Anon. Day four. What the hell? Why is she scratching herself? Is she a junkie? Oh god, don't come any closer! I don't want to get shanked by a junkie pterodactyl! Oh, what voice did I give her before? Before it's done nothing for Lars, the snoot drooped. Yeah, I said like British punk. Um. You were uh, skinny! Y yeah? Went. <laughs> uh the grip with the uh uh dinosaurs no yellow hoodie red hair pink tail hair buns are you describing one person what no it's multiple oh god it's horrible <laughs> stop Change voices, chat! <laughs> Change voices! <laughs> I'm yanking out! <laughs> it hurts so good! Keep going, filter the week! <laughs> They're dinosaurs, though, right? <laughs> it's the only thing with the Lord, your English is fine, that British is terrible! <laughs> Bungs and shambles. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Oh. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. I seem to have this effect on women. I call them poison pheromones. Don't guess the thing you to keep the British comfort. <laughs> but it is relieving that she didn't recognize me. Guess Nazar didn't tell her. To stay there's been a second bus. <laughs> the staccato of the bell signals my tardiness for class. <laughs> my class with Naomi. If there is a Jurassic God, please make Naomi miss homeroom today. I'll even offer a goat sacrifice. <laughs> This looks like a science classroom. The day passes uneventfully until fourth period- Oh, hey! Science class! I found a seat near the back of the room and watched the clock hands tick down the remaining few seconds to the bell. Right before the tone, one last student rushes in, out of breath. Oh, it's that girl again. I guess we shared a period or two on the first day and I just didn't notice. She strides across the room, taking her seat without a word. Strangely, nobody seems to acknowledge her. Not even a sneer or a chuckle. That's odd. Given how many people were there that night, you'd expect at least a couple of Snickers. But there she was, being completely left alone. Or ignored. 
seems almost worse than getting laughed at. The lingering chatter in the room dies out as the teacher stands from his desk, moving to the front of the room. Good news, everyone! Today we'll be having a lab on magnetic fields! How do I- how, how do I- how do I do an impression of this guy? It's- it's Dr. Farnsworth! From- from- or is it Farnsworth or Farnsworth? Whatever, from Futurama! It's Colworth! No, it's not! Find a partner and get prepared! Good news, everybody! My heart sunk as those dreaded words passed my ears. Find a partner. I know it's pointless, but at least I have to try. Maybe someone was out sick. Is my luck, though, I'll probably just end up with that fossil of a teacher. With everyone else already starting on the assignment, I resign myself to working twice as hard. Hurry up, Anon! Mr. Anon, your partner is waiting for you! I can't, I can't. Is this volcano high? Yes! What? Very well! Fang, if you would be so kind to sit next to your new partner. You make him Zoidberg instead? No. I don't, know, I don't know how to talk like Zoidberg. I sat in momentary confusion as someone took the seat next to mine. Oh no. Spaghetti alert! Spaghetti alert! There's a dude! There's a fanboy within arm's distance looking at me! Deploy all spaghetti alert commanders! So. Thanks, you too. <laughs> Shit! Recovery maneuvers now! I mean, hey, not much, you? Chad recovery successful! None of your business. Just do the damn assignment and don't bother me. Oh, you upset right now or something? What was your first fucking clue? Last time I'll say it, just do the assignment and don't bother me! Okay, gotta keep cool-headed. Can't act a thing or the two dollars. That was good Pac-Man death noise, Pipsy. <laughs> Gun pop start getting right dollars. And then the love of the stream just here to say my life was rigged from the start and I feel what they did was take it. I feel like what I was I did was take it out of context. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gun Pop Tart Kid. Thank you, thank you. Fang definitely pegs. Okay. So this assignment then. With that, we open our books and start on trying to decipher who Lawrence is and why his force is magnetic. Things are going well for the first few questions. I remember a bit of it from that one time I tried to make a railgun. Eh. How are you two doing so far? We're fine, Dr. Fernsworth. I see. And you, Anon? Yeah, what she said. Why is Dr. Fernsworth making that face? I turn to Fang and ask her what to ask her what the deal is and Oh 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 dear Mistakes have been made. See Yes Can you not see? Oh, Raptor Jesus Almighty, this is the absolute worst case scenario. The infuriated Pterodactyl's wing... Pterodactyl's wings spread wide and her taloned fingers jab my chest. I am non-binary! How was I supposed to know something so trivial would set something like this off? Well... Ugh... I can't... I can't bring myself to say anything. How? So that's how it's going to be, huh? Fang. You think you can just stand in my face and then give me the cold shoulder? How have you now? Fang! Wow, my thing, Dolores. I've actually had the idea to make a real gun. You're a dork. It feels like the world just stopped. All eyes are on Fang. And in Fang's eyes, I see something flash briefly. 
Judging by those exaggerated movements and the eloquent speech, this is something Fang had been practicing. This was supposed to be a big moment where she stopped an evil bigot and the whole class would clap. In all her planning and practice, Fang had made one crucial error. Nobody cared. Please consider stepping into the hole for a moment. <sighs> Quick as Fang tags at the room. Dr. Fernsworth turns a sympathetic look towards me. Forgive the man, on. You must understand that Fang is experiencing issues. What the fuck just happened? Well, she blew at me- blew up at me when I called her she. She was already upset about something before. She was upset before because of the concert the other day? Looks like I just pushed her over the edge. After a few minutes, Fang's come- Fang- uh, After a few moments, Fang comes back in and sits down without a word. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now that I think about it, something's off. Fang claims not to be male or female, but the clothes she's wearing are clearly provocative. Almost like she's showing off her feminine... <laughs> then why? Oh my god, why would someone be wearing revealing clothes in contradiction to their identity? It's almost like they're just looking for a tent. Then suddenly it hits me. I recall memories of a slightly younger Anon running around school with a cape, pilot goggles, and three plastic katanas. Listen! Listen! Crop tops are not exclusively a female thing! Alright, Anon? Let me show you! Let me show you Exhibit A! Hold on, this is a moment for me to show off one of my husbandos. Give me a second! Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Oops, I just dragged it into Renthai. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> look at my, look at my handsome Genshin husband now. This is Baizu. This is Baizu. He's a boy. He's a boy, and he wears a crop top. That's a girl? It's not a girl! His name is Baiju, and he's a guy! Look at that gay man! He's not, he, he might be gay! I don't know! Probably not! It's a Chinese game! My little D, they were too large to be fair. You're into femboys. Sometimes it... ...takes a boy to be best girl. What do you, what do you want me to say? Chris, thank you for two dollars. That guy is clearly a bottom. Rainbow flag? What do you mean, rainbow flag? What do you mean, rainbow flag? If anything, what I just said is straight! Is that Chinese secret dealers? Is that Chinese regional variant? Colrus! Yeah, you know how Pokemon has like, um... Has like, like... Regional forms, like... Paldean Whooper, and Paldean Taurus, and... Galarian Ponyta? This is... This is... Uh... Genshinian Colrus. The fifth venom thing for the two dollars. That's a femboy. Fuck off. Fuck the die. Thing for the two dollars. He's gay Lamau. Jesus Christ. He's handsome. Melvin Merkel Hopper thing for the two dollars. He looks like he smokes a lot of weed. I don't think he smokes any weed. Fuck you. Stew balls. Think of the become big for the suspicious estrogen levels of that husband though. Mango bingo dango mango thing for the two dollars. Hello, male fauna. Handsome in a beautiful way. Is that so bad? Is that hold on, hold on. Let me show you his art. He's so pretty. Hold on. Let me show you his official art. Isn't he so pretty? Look at his pet snake. Snake snake. The snake's name is Chang Chang. Is that cute? He's in He's not a boy. He's trapped. No, he's a boy. Men are supposed to be pretty. Men can be pretty. I like pretty men. Nice snake, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's a girl. It's not a girl. Look, his chest is flat. He's got like a rectangular body. He's a man. 
He looks like he used to work at Twitter. No, he's a pharmacist. Yes, that's in front doors. Didn't you lecture us? Uh, don't you lecture us with your clearly feminine husband. Fuck you. Grab the thing with the $2. Two doctors, one prescription. What the fuck? Your chest is flat. Fuck you. The sale boy. Thank you for the $2. Genshin message. <laughs> Genshin mentioned. Opinion discarded. Or Anelia is thinking for the $2. Power bottom? What the fuck? Apple is thinking for $5. It's not that bad. It just doesn't help your case for unisex crop tops being manly. <laughs> fuck off! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, It's better looking than Coleris, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's not get crazy. Fuck that, read that. He's got a pearl necklace around his wrist. It's like a jade bracelet. What do you mean? Jack Crowley, he's not gay? Shows gay fan art? It's not fan art. This is official art, and it's not gay. There's no gay sex happening in this chat. There's no gay smooching. There's no gay anything, chat. I think the fact that you're seeing gayness in that image says you're gay. I saw her thing with 110. He looks like he writes for Kotaku. Fuck off. Small gray thing with Lars. I'd, I'd say go, but okay. Small but basic with Lars. Why are women like this? Fuck off. Mr. Yarrow thing with Lars. Not beating the lesbian allegations here. Fuck you. Self help yourself thing with Lars. He looks like he works at Starbucks. Fuck you! Hey, green anything from Lars. Well, chat, this confirms it. Pippa likes lesbians. She's never been in the allegations. Fuck off. Uh, Garm, thank you for coming to be on what you are. That crap noise from Lars. What does this have to do with the game? We were talking about crop tops! Cause Anna and Brad are crop 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 crop. Ha! Hold on. Yeah, the clothes she's wearing are clearly provocative because she's talking about the crop top. I so many ways. Or there's like the skinny jeans, but. I remember, I remember skin- men wearing skinny jeans used to be like the big trend. Um, Florence Dono, thank you for the, um, oh wait, hold on, I missed it. Thank you for the two dollars, why can't you just like hoot out like a normal human? I also like hoot out. I can noise, thank you for the two dollars, what, alright, we're done. Um, best scroll though. Um, uh, best scroll in Genshin Impact is Shenhe though, so. Hello, Angel Glowing. For those regarding Snake Boy, I would like to say a word. YouTube won't let me. Control yourself. Mr. Drawsing. For those, my Ushi is a fanboy who likes fanboys. No surprises here. Fuck off. Lord Brown Bear. Thank you, I said, I think you'd like Sai from Naruto. Who is Sai from Naruto? Bro, isn't this like Sasuke or something? This guy just looks like Sasuke. Uh, Nate Simple thing with it's too feminine to be male. No! Cock chops! No! Wrong guy! They were too nice! You like gentle looking intellectuals with glasses. Holy fuck. You hit the nail on the head. I never thought about it like that. Vash Peepee thing with Lars. likes men that wear skinny jeans, that's how you know they're gay. <laughs> Cold gray thing with Lars, the male crop top is called a sweater vest! <laughs> Wrong night. Oh, they are. I read that. I never thought about it like that. I guess it is my type. Gentle looking intellectuals with glasses. I'm in Lupin Rubin. And maybe skinny jeans are too tight for my thunder thighs. Oh, thank you for bragging. This is a better thing for the $5. If you're going to defend crop tops, at least use Hedy Gordo. Uh, Jin Roland saying, Richard Lars, don't worry, Pippa. I love lesbians too. Ram for example, from Lars. Man, that man has a child corpse in his house. The FBI wants a word. It's a living corpse, excuse you! Back thing, Dolores should have gone with muscle shirt. Prowl Asto, thank you for the. A Prowl Asto, thank you, baby. It's not gay if you make lightsaber noises when they touch. Code anything, come be baby. Feminine enough, a hole is the goal. You're sick. Game Boo! Thank you for the $2 high tip. I knew here, but are you a boy or a girl? Fuck you! Boy Rivera, thank you for 333. He looks like he'd make me. What the fuck? What does that even mean? Mr. Yara, thank you because he's a doctor. You mean take the cotton out of the top of your prescription pill bottle? Mr. Yara, thank you for the Lord's Pippa's type glasses. Soft boys are homeless dudes. Fuck off. Jack crawled under Dolores. Is Pippa secretly a gay man? All evidence says yes. No. And I don't think you're $1. You can't look at that belly window and say it's not provocative. Tummies are meant to blow raspberries on. I want to blow tummies. Uh, I want to blow raspberries on Louis tummy. <laughs> um, where did the okay? Uh, Brosing from Lars. You couldn't love someone who goes outside more. He goes outside. He collects. He collects the medicines. <laughs> Say it 
Before they were the large, male crop tops got pick a pip 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 acting on rise. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip and then I'm gonna continue playing the game. Nom 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 nom. Ah! And they noises and it made some water go up my nose. Now, then you'll see everything with two large pippa. How are you getting? How are you make? How are you making chat gay with your crush? What do you mean? Pippa, would you get jealous that he's more pretty than you? No, I accept my fate. Try to god thing of the five dollars. As thin as that guy is, he could probably pick up Pippa by her tum tum. What? Noob nut thing with two dollars. Pippa's type is. What the fuck? Uh, black hat thing in front dollars. He looks like he frequents the funky bar on Mirabal Island, if you know what I mean. What the fuck? I'm playing the game again. We're going back to the fucking game. And three plastic katanas. That was a quick way to get sent to the principal's office. Are you even listening to me? Do what now? Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I could tell. She mutters as she turns back to the assignment. Uh, you've been staring at me for the past five minutes, freak. Judging by the looks of the class and both of our current social standing, we'll probably be working together a lot more. Jim's holding for dollars. Find a crop top in the men's section of a clothing store. I'll wait. Okay, fuck you. I'll go to, like, Hot Topic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, how does that make you feel? Um... All right, chat. Let me go to Amazon.com. On my phone. So I don't accidentally... <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll open up Amazon and it'll be like, Here you go. Here's your fucking home address. Didn't think you were browser capturing this, did you, asshole? Hold on. Men's... Crop top. Look at that! Men's crop top, tank, short sleeve, print, cotton. Twelve colors and patterns by Carly Window. Prime shipping. Men's solid sleeveless round neck tank, casual tank top. Men's fashion workout neon crop top, tank slim. Men can wear crop tops. Men should show their tummies to me. It sounds weird. Jack <laughs> Rowling of the five dollars. Pippa, why are all your husbandos more feminine than you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Give her the two dollars. Straight men who go to hot topic don't exist. Oh my god. You mean Culver should wear crop tops? Mm. No, I don't. I don't want to imagine Culver in a crop top. I don't think it suits him. I think. I think more like business casual is his style. Or maybe like. Yeah, business casual. Buys you. Buys you a good crop top though. Everybody, everybody has things that they look better in, you know? Oh, and why is that? I don't know, because just, it just doesn't seem like it suits them. I'm handling work to the large check the frequently bought together. <laughs> you know what? I will! I will check the frequently bought together. Hold on. Dr. Jackson or Dillard's non bino dino. Where do I find that? Women's new arrivals, you might also like... Customers frequently viewed, you might also like this, four stars and above. There is no frequently bought together. And the you might also like is just more crop tops. Let's see anything over the five dollars. Pippa, have you seen Colors' Gen 7 design where he wears a heavy winter coat with tablet sleeves on tropical vacation? Yeah, he's so real for that. He's just like me for real, for real. I think with a 420. Listen, listen. Colorus's, Colorus's refrigerator outfit is cute. Hold on. He's a cute 
dork chat. You guys just wouldn't understand. You just, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand the appeal. We are very thing, one lord, just like Bakura, male. <laughs> Look. He's cute! He's cute! He's the, his dad lets him have two power gloves? I don't think one lord. Now search men's thigh high socks. What are you doing to my search history? I think Colrus would look good in thigh high socks. No crop top, but thigh high socks and an oversized. No, maybe, maybe. Uh, loosely, loosely buttoned dress shirt. <laughs> Clipped again! <laughs> Jeez! Something. What the fuck? He's wearing thigh highs and a thong under the. What the fuck? They're clearly stockings. Look, he's clearly wearing like. I don't know what. I guess they're just pants. They're just like really tight looking pants. He's got nice legs. Emmy Clan, thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> what? Tip Kendi, thank you for five dollars. He should pull that blue ahego over his forehead. You could land a plane on that thing. Fuck off. Yoga pants. Let me TP thing for the How can you be attracted to a man wearing Nintendo power gloves? Because I appreciate retro hardware. I guess we're releasing one though. Don't worry, Pippa. I'm sure Colrus would wear programming socks too. Most fanboys do. Fuck off. Oh, that thing for dollars. Pippa, why are you like this? Jeremy Irons, thank you for the five dollars. Pipkin. Oh, Pippa Pipkin picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Pippa Pipkin picked. If Pippa Pipkin could change one thing about Colrus. What? I don't know anything, Dolores. I love chat. The Kotaku one was the best. Fuck you. Fuck you. I have to play the Secret Dolores. Not here again. No homo right now, Pippa. Don no, no, Arbuckle, thank you for Dolores. Have you heard the song Pink Triangle by Weezer? That's you, but reversed. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Weezer is. Louis Rivera, thank you for 169. Tight pants for Arcu. Oh my fucking god. Bruce. Sobble Barrel, thinking for the $5. That forehead looks like his mind can run Starfield on 60 FPS. Ah! Stop help yourself, thinking for dollars. He looks like he shops at Hot Topic. Yeah, thinking for 50 cents. I need to buy a shovel to dig this hole faster. Okay, fuck you guys. What'd you vote on the poll? Two? Okay. I guess we're gonna be an asshole to Fang. Sorry, Fang. I should have known from your feminine appearance and dress that you are, in fact, non binary. Non binary people don't owe you androgyny. Doesn't seem like it's something she wants to hear right now. So, um, your name's her sister, right? Sibling! Right, sorry. Hmm. I'll tell you the funny thing, Dolores. Little Cobra's getting no blood in those? What? There's a brief pause until Fang speaks up again. Yes, Nazer is my baby brother. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Nazer has been helping me settle into the school. Of course he did. Just wish he'd keep out of my fucking business for two seconds. Uh, sure. Actually, thinking about Nazer... It's more that he worries a bit too much for that... sister of his. Oftentimes when I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. Hmm. He told me about what happened the other... Oh. He told me about what happened the other day. Sorry to hear something like that happened to you and your band. <laughs> what do you care? I... don't know. Suddenly my shoes seem more interesting than the conversation at hand. Just think it's messed... Oh. Just think it's messed up. People would go to the show just to laugh at you. You aren't that awful. Unlike every other guy at this school. <laughs> the rest of the period passed between continued small talk with Fang. She seemed to be controlling the conversation, though. 
When the bell rings, Fang whips out her phone and immediately starts tapping away. You going to your next class? Who cares about being late? Fair. See you then. She lazily waves a hand at me and I make my way to my next class. Unfortunately, fifth period is mathematics. I'm barely keeping myself awake while Mr... Ah, oh, fuck. Carl Sidusky is giving a lecture on the inverse of tangents. Okay, then come to me. He's back, Chad! He's back! I wonder how his marriage is going. Oh, I don't actually know what this character sounds like. I've only ever heard Kirsha's impressions of him. Hold on. How? Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. What's Carl? Carl something. I need to watch more cartoons. Carl lives. Deep gruffy voice. Jersey. I know. I sit ramrod straight at the direct address. Oh, are you freaking listening? Come finish this freaking problem on the freaking board! Just one social disaster after another today. Hesitantly, I slide out of my chair and trundle my way to the whiteboard, trying to decipher the runes I'm expected to make sense of. Only I never made it to the whiteboard. Three rows down and my foot catches on a loose backpack strap in the aisle. Luckily, I fell sideways and there was a cold, hard desk in the way to catch my fall. To the chuckles of the rest of the class, I look up from my final resting place to see a massive pink and white muzzle. Duh. Like a deer caught in the headlights, I can only stare and wait for him to continue. You're on my desk, man. My senses return to me and I quickly get up, picking up and returning the pencil that flew to the floor in a flurry of apologies. Then I recognize just whose desk I fell on. It's that drummer in Fang's band. Don't I just have the luck of the devil? Giving one last apology, I head to the front of the room to solve the whiteboard problem. I tried solving the problem to the best of my ability. It still took a solid two minutes. After circling my answer, I look expectantly at Mr. Carl Dusky, who gives a nod. Finally, turning around to return to my seat, I freeze. Right there in the front row is the last member of the band, Rish. I stumble back to my desk. Mr. Carl Dusky, Carl Dusky, Carl Carl gives each row a stack of papers to pass back. Alrighty, here's the frickin' homework cover in today's lesson. Use page 279. I'll give you the last 15 frickin' minutes of class to work with your frickin' peers. Mr. Kozidusky returns to his desk and pulls out a math book with a monthly romance novel crudely stuffed inside it. With a very detailed centerfold, by the way, he turned it sideways. Looking ahead to Reed's desk, he's been joined by Trish, who's trying to get him to get started. I think I can feel their eyes following me. Back at my desk, I glance over the math sheet. Page 279, right? Looks like I finally get to use that phone book of a math textbook. Where is it? I open my backpack and instead of my math textbook... Uh, is the Saturnia Collector's Edition art book I splurged on yesterday. I'm frozen. Can't move an inch. Did I grab the wrong book this morning? Is someone playing a sick joke? How can I bring this to school? Something bounces off my head and lands on my desk. It's enough to snap me back to reality and I shove my backpack under my desk, furiously zipping it. On my desk is a balled up wad of paper. Oh great, I was hoping to avoid these chain notes. I unfurl the ball and read the note. Look up. I look up and see the purple one waving me over. Fuck! Grabbing my stuff, I shuffle over slowly to the duo. What's up, compadre? Uh, what's up? Now what voice did I give her? 
see, he's my class partner, so I look out for him. Who are you looking out for your class partner, Anon? Oh, wait. I just read that, I think. Enforcing the social contract, having good contact and mutual respect so you can leave class and go on with your life? Uh, what's this about? A certain friend of mine has partnered with you in science, right? Wait. Oh. Oh, oh. Wait, oh. You mean Fang? She just... Uh, they just messaged me before class. Said they had to be partnered with a skinny bigot. Then proceeded to show them. I had a feeling you'd be him. Am I gonna have to tolerate humiliation from these meteor dodgers too? My head is starting to hurt. Hopefully we can just get started on these math exercises. Yeah, that was me. I apologize though. I know, and I appreciate it. I'm Trish, and this is Reed. We're Fang's best friends. Uh-huh. What about you? Now tell us about yourself. Red alert! There is no way I'm telling anyone, especially these people. And if they find out where I was a few days ago. Uh... I'm Anon, and I'm human. I got here Monday. That's all. We know that. We want to know where you're from. What you've been doing since you got here. If you have any friends. Uh, I've been doing nothing. I don't really care about friends. She doesn't look very convinced by that answer. Right. You know that NASA dude, right? Hey. Yeah, I saw you with that slut Naomi earlier too. Trish. Trish squints her eyes at me. They were my welcoming committee. They helped me getting settled. Nothing besides that. Why? Didn't neither or Naomi invite you to anything or... No, I don't remember. I've been trying to get them off my back, but why do you ask? We had a concert last week. Nazar and Naomi invited a whole bunch of assholes to ruin it. Suppose if we had seen a human in that crowd, we would remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, concert? I don't think they invited me here to solve math problems. We have a band. I'm the lead bassist. Fang's the vocalist and secondary bass, and Reed is the drummer. And the songwriter. He just comes up with the funny song titles. Ah, uh, that's very neat. Would love to listen to your band sometime. I drag my chair backwards and clumsily rise from my seat. It was great meeting you guys. I'll be going back to my desk, though. Wait, I'm not done with you yet. What? I should really get started on the homework? It's important. Look at me. She has a very serious look on her face. She's not saying anything. Her glaring through the back of my skull makes me think she means business. Fang is happy. They found something about themselves that- Fuck. They found something about themselves they finally like. And I helped them through a dark time. They made up their mind. They, themselves. No wonder Nazer seems so confused by this. They don't need people in their life that might hurt or confuse them. They have us in the band. We're trying to make it for ourselves. Okay. I look out for them because I care for them. They've been hurting because of those dicks. I'm doing my part in reassuring them. Was that what I saw her doing earlier? Looked more like one trigger trig out. I don't understand. My point is, don't upset Fang. I just wanted to solve math problems. I... Uh, yes, ma'am. Once again, she's just glaring at me. Fucking hell, my stupid legs. Stop shaking. I'll take this opportunity. Uh, thank you for the lesson, Trish. I'll keep that in mind. See ya. Wait, man. You want this? Reed holds out a sheet of paper. 
Wait, it's a copy of the homework assignment. And it's complete? Hold on, I thought you were the one needing help? The friend of my friend who's the friend that helps me is also my friend too. I don't think that's how the saying goes. You're sharp, Anon. Razor sharp. Friends? The bell announces lun- oh. The bell announces lunchtime, and the rest of the students collectively rise and start shuffling out the door. Lunch hour! Been a blast talking to you guys! I swiftly snatch up the backpack by my leg, flashing an earnest, sympathetic smile at them. Or, at least I thought it was one. As I power walk out of the classroom, I swear I caught a glimpse of Reed waving goodbye. A shame I have other places to be. Namely, away from the pissed off midget. Sorry man, you seem like a good guy, but that tiny tyrant? Not in this lifetime. That was the worst fucking experience in a long while. Almost as bad as actually dealing with Fang in class. There I was, thinking I could be invisible for the rest of the year. And now I have classmates talking about me behind my back on their phones, probably for the rest of the school year. At least it's the best period of the day now. Wonder what to get to one uh, wonder what to get for lunch today. Wait. What's that smell? Oh no. I duck into a corner and rip the backpack open. What should have my what should have been my lunch card, binders, and a horrendously embarrassing art book? Was instead a half dozen glass flasks, bags full of something and all sorts of machinery I didn't recognize. Someone Someone else has my backpack! And that book! If they see! Ah, uh, This backpack... It's from that Reed guy, I'll bet! When I rushed out of class! Oh fuck me! On the other hand... I could get a Medal of Honor for turning this stuff in! Think you could even get a bit of cash for reporting stuff like this! <laughs> what am I thinking? Any amount of money is not worth my power level being revealed! I can't ruin my life! Not again! Especially not with these losers! A half hour until lunch period ends! Good! I need to find Reed! I double back to the classroom I just left and find it empty. Fuck! Maybe he's getting his lunch now, a uh, cafeteria then! I sprint through the school hallway, he's already familiar with the layout, looking for the drug dealer! The colorful crowd and lunch line makes it difficult to pick Reed out, so I have to carefully scan the room. I finally spot the pink raptor at the end of the queue, tray in hand and incriminating evidence on his back. The world must be fucking with me since I'm the one currently carrying a mini cartel in a backpack! Reed! The stoner drummer turns my way as I try, or as, I try as calmly as possible to approach him. What's up, my guy? I, uh... I give the backpack a bump, causing all the dubious glassware to within to clink. Think you got- think you got my backpack, Reed. Huh, was wondering why it felt lighter. He holds out my backpack to me. There you go, man. We trade backpacks. I'm careful to hand his over while simultaneously examining mine with- still within his grip. It doesn't look like he opened it at all, but... Thank fuck. Why are you so- oh. Why are you so worried about the bag, man? Shit! Oh. Shit! Fuck, 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 fuck! Because... Don't bring up the art book! Thank you, dumb fucker! There's gotta be something you can say! Naomi, I owe you a fruit basket! My lunch card! I wouldn't have been able to get my lunch without it! Oh, oh, oh fuck, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. What? What? New kid in school, and you need the lunch card? You, like, wanna hang out with us? You look like the lonely type. Fuck! No! Nah, I'll be good. 
I just needed my- Come on, bro, I'll introduce you to the whole band. You don't have to. You know, reward your good deed with a good deed. What? I'll be like, your first friend, Anon. What? Yeah, man. I appreciate it, but you know. You worried about Trish, bro? <sighs> yeah, she can be a bit rough, but she's great. Isn't she on a crusade to assault everyone that laughed at your concert? Oh yeah, she does that sometimes, don't worry about it. Mm hmm. It's fine for you to be worried. You'll see, she's plenty nice. Maybe I was a bit quick to judge. See, there's Trish now. Hey, Reed. Sorry, gonna have to return that crowbar a bit later than I promised. Also, I got vengeance on every one of those jerks. Those aren't related, right? Who's asking? I need to get out of here. Well, Ray, thank you for talking. I'll just be on my way. Hold on, man. Trish just got here. Wait, what's all this about? And on here, and I had a little mix up. Anyway, he was a total bro about it. And he's like super poor and stuff. Hell poor. You know that lunch card thing they advertise on the school brochures? Cool. Show her, Anon. I'd rather not. Oh my goodness, you poor soul! Literally, even. So I figured, why not be a bro back to him? Like, uh... Be his legit welcome committee. I appreciate the thought, but, uh... I should really be going right about now. Bye. Oh, Fang, what took you so long today? I fucked that up. Why me? Yo, wait, is that Anon? What's he doing here? No, it's the other new human transfer student with the dress sense of Rex Luthor. Hey, Fang. Good to see you again. Well, lunch is almost over, so I'll... He's poor. Like, super poor. How poor? You know those lunch cards they have on the posters near the principal's office? Wow, that is hilariously depressing. I hate everyone here. Poor hate, poor hate. Anyway, that doesn't answer my question of why the skinny loser is here. Man, Anon's like a total bro. And I'm his first friend. And we're gonna be rock rocking buddies for the rest of the school year. Then, like, he'll be my business partner. And we'll sell enough goods to get half the country high. And, like, fuck narcs and fuck the IRS, too. Huh. <laughs> Uh, Trish? The moron swapped backpacks and now they're best friends or something. Yeah, that. And now I'm gonna go grab my lunch so And we can all grab some together. Well, Reed is a good judge of character. Is he? Uh, didn't you already grab your lunch, Reed? I'm a boy holding Dolores, my buddy... Bazir... What? What the fuck? I'm... Okay. I chose to read a super chat! Worst mistake of my life! Yeah, I want seconds, man. What? I look at Reed's tray and see it's completely empty. W when did you... How? Come on. Oh, 
Come on, man. I've got a bean case of the munchies. I end up walking to get food with Trish, Reed, and Fang. Every time I consider ditching them, Reed says or does something to keep me with the band. Fuck my life. I'm able to hold the makings of a conversation with Reed, but it feels like I'm talking to space. Trish was listening in while we made our way to the lunchroom, but was more focused on her talk with Fang. What do you mean my halter top is out right now? I haven't noticed a difference. I'm telling you, the next thing is going to be leotards. Ah, fuck that. I would never wear something that retarded. As for Reed... So... You play video games, right? Yeah, I got a couple consoles and a toaster of a PC. Only Xbox. Battle Swords is sick. Hachi Station has a better lineup overall. But like, stony games are all lame. Like, just movies lame. You can't prove that. I can. Huh? Get your phone out, man. Look up. LW underscore S nine Z N P K L L. How did you say that out loud? Just look it up, man. Ah, uh, what's what's the harm? Uh. All right, chat. One or two. One or two. Background noise anger for the. Anon has a halo because only a saint could tolerate these clouds. <laughs> it does look like he has a halo right now. It's a YouTube video ID? Are we getting rickrolled? What for stoner, bro? It's the best joke in the game. This brings up a browser window, just so you know. Oh my god. Oh, God. Funky Rot, thank you for the two dollars. We're gonna get goatseed? Are we gonna get goatseed? Oh my God, it actually... <laughs> Hold on. Alright. Alright, that's kind of funny. Hold on. Let me crop it. Remember, the context is shitting on Sony games. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Oh my god. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. <laughs> Crop fail, Pippa, Something's fuck you. Something's holding me back. Real med Maybe hours. it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that... I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. Oh my god. Twenty-one. Game came out this year, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Crusader, Lugosi, thank you, Dolores. They made a parody of Snoot Game? Yeah, they made a parody of Snoot Game. Isn't that crazy? XYZ, thank you, Dolores. With a four-star hat, main character could be Mendicar. All right, let's go back to the game. What time is it? 11.45. And let me... Reset. Transform. Oh wait, what's the original game about? I don't know, high school or something? What on earth? Pretty oh. Pretty hilarious, right? What is this? A shitty Netflix cartoon knockoff? It's funny in a way, yeah. The x rock is better anyways. You see the whole lineup they had prepared for? Reed delves into his rant about console differences. I thought he was just an airhead, but... I totally can't get a read on this guy. Well, anyways... Oh, now I feel weird doing her voice now that I've heard what it's supposed to sound like. Am I insane, or did the original voice sound like a 14-year-old speaking into a Blue Yeti microphone? Great thing, Fred Lord, just to let you know, Pippa, my buddy Funky Rob wants to smell your shoes. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Keep the Brit bong? Okay. Lunch lines aren't getting any shorter. We should hurt. Oh. <laughs> Let me take a sip. Ah! What'd I just do? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. The VA is recorded at home during COVID-19. Did they? We should hurry up and pick one. Once we all got our food, we all stand around chatting a bit more outside the line. Trish and Feng babble to each other about their daily activities all through the lunch line. Reed, on the other hand, has pulled out a tablet from his backpack to show me something. I did buy a thing for the last original game is basically Twitter is no more politics with dinosaurs, hence why everyone likes Snoop game better. I actually don't know anything about Goodbye Volcano High. I just know people prefer this more. I do, I do know people prefer this more, but I, I haven't seen, like, any... I've seen there's, like, rhythm game elements of Goodbye Volcano High. Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo, 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 Scaly game really brings an interesting crown. Blue thing, front doors. Just a heads up, Goodbye Volcano High is $30! And it's five to six hours long with one ending? Snoot game was free. So, like, you know, we got a bear. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Trish brought it up earlier and all. Check it. I've been recording our practices. Fang and Trish both look at me expectantly. Fuck, shit, fuck. Okay, you can do this. Cool, let me see. Even through the poor recording quality, I can see in here just how atrocious the band is. I bite back the grimace threatening to come out as I give the video my full attention. Well, well... We're green, right, animal? It's, uh... Certainly original. It's in Cobalt in your doors. YMS played GBH and called it a scam. It's a $30. We know, right? But, like... Why two bases? Fang 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 glances at me from the side. Weird. It's our style! I see. What do I say here? I can only get feedback on games I haven't played, not music. Ha! Huh. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. Three three choices. Three choices. One, two, eight! No 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 no! No 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 no! <sighs> More water. I like number one is I like the double tension on the G strings. Number two is the synchronization between the melody and the sub melody complements the reverb well. And three is very nice ironic reference to Beethoven's for release. How's your throat? All right. Playing a visual novel was not my brightest idea, but somebody mentioned Snoot Game and it got stuck in my head because I've been wanting to play it. I think I mentioned last year wanting to play Snoot Game. 
And I gotta show his nerdiness. Alright. Guy who has only heard classical music. To know about the G strings. This is actually a kinetic novel. Wow. How'd you hear about it? Places. I mentioned Snoot Game and Sengoku Rants. Sengoku Rants is porn chat! Save? The save button's a little wonky. I feel like it doesn't always work. Play rants! Oh my god. Nah, it's a strategy game. Oh my god. Chat, if there's a censored version of Sengoku Rants, I'll play it. If there's a censored version, but I don't think there is. Anyways, number three is winning the poll by a landslide. There is? Oh my god. The three stop in their tracks and look back at me. <laughs> oh, I think I messed up. How could you tell? Oops. How could you tell? Jeez, man, you got the ears of a bat? Uh, just something I picked up. I didn't know you knew about that sort of thing, Adam. Yeah, next time we have a concert, you gotta come along. Maybe. Trish glowers at me warily. <laughs> Welcome back, David Deluxe. Guess we have to stream rants on Zoom. Oh my god. I... I don't know. Maybe if he actually talked about himself for once. No! Uh, nah! No way! Upward! Yeah, man, go ahead. None of us are judging. I'm not, at least. Oh, hell? Oh, fuck, sorry, I know we gotta bail! <laughs> huh? Where? They're already gone. Pretty impressive how fast they can move, even with their hands full. But what could have made them run like that? I like these two better. Oh. I turn around to see Nays there and Naomi approaching, food in hand. I knew I'd find you here with the others, Anna! Shame they ran off! Why'd they do that? Her shrill, goody goody, sugary voice is piercing through the chatter of the lunchroom. I don't want to reply if it means hearing more of her voice. Wasn't that Nazer, sister? How wonderful that you're making friends, Anna! Everything! What were you and Feng talking about? I want to know all about it! Oh, help me God! I just can't get a break! I just want to go home! But there's still half a day to go. Hey, Anon, you uh, seem kind of low energy. Are you alright? The Anon you are trying to reach is currently having an existential meltdown. Please leave your message after the scream. Yeah, man. Good on ya. You. You're quite the extrovert. I'm mentally screaming. I swear, I just want to get out and never come back! Was that really my sibling you were hanging out with? Yeah, Fang and her friends. Yeah. Strange group, I know. Damn thing, I like your Pinkie Pie voice for Naomi. Hi, Dango. I'll say! Shh. They're not that bad once you get to know them. Colorful folk. I know. Uh... No, I mean... They... Hmm? Fang. Uh-huh. Sure hope so, since I'm going to be her lab partner for the rest of the year. Oh. Naomi pauses for a second. What did he mean by colorful? Yeah, that's a good question. Honestly, they're just going through a phase, man. A phase connect! Sorry. That phase connect! Sorry. Includes rants about non banners <sighs> Fang hit you with that, too. What a great opportunity for a real friendship, Anna! I'm so happy for you! Uh? Huh? If there's anything Fang needs in these trying times, it's a new friend to talk to! Uh... I don't know about that. You know how they is, right? 
I would love if you tried! Nazer would appreciate it! The would he? Whoa, calm down, boo! That's not how it works, and I don't think... The bell's loud sound rings on our ears. A rush of relief and dopamine overcome me. I'm free! Uh, we'll talk later, Hanon. I'll have to keep my eye on you, though. Don't worry, Neezer! I know Hanon is a good character! What is she talking about? You know what? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Only useful thing I learned all day. Uh, I guess I'll have to go now. See you around. Be a little nicer, Hanon. Ask if you need anything. I'll help you out. One. Just you wait! <laughs> nice. Now you'll never get them off your back. Congratulations! Hey, take... Oh. Hey, take it easy, man. Come, Neezer! We have a busy day today! Oh, sure. See ya! <sighs> One week later. Adam Chisel didn't come be here to another month of avoiding the glowies. They don't like Terminal Pipkin. How how far are we into the game? It's already basically midnight. But if we're close to an ending, I'll keep playing. It's math, bane of retards and lazy intellectuals alike, and teachers too. Judging by the lack of a certain Kumar teacher, substitute today, which means busy work. 10%? Not even- Not remotely close! Oh my god! You're not even at the first divergent choice? Oh my god. We're only gonna play one round of this game, probably. Group problems, me- Oh, group problems, busy work specific- Fuck. Substitute today, which means busy work. Group problems, busy work specifically. Of course, I can't escape this any more than I could have escaped the lab partner assignment. At least here, I have the opportunity to just keep myself for an hour. I don't even bother attempting the assignment. Instead, pretending my phone is a calculator and spending the first half shit posting about video games I haven't played online. The second half interrupted by something pointy to the back of the dome. I can feel something stuck between my chair and my back. I fish around and pull out a crumpled paper airplane. A completed set of problems. This is Reed's, and it's... Done? Even the extra problems that I don't even bother with because they take another 10 minutes each! I turn around to see the Technicolor Burnout waving me over. He's sitting next to Trish. She's giving me the evil eye. At least I think it's the evil eye. Whatever that expression is, it clashes with her smile. Might as well see what they want. As I weave through the maze of desks and... desks squished together with partners more interested in their phones than the worksheet, I catch a hint of whatever Reed and Trish are talking about. Honesty is the best policy, yeah? Hmm, bad juju to keep something bottled up. Reed grabs a hold of another chair and sets it on Trisha's other side, nodding in my direction before taking a big pull from whatever he's got in that thermos on his desk. The widening of his pupil suggests it's more than just Roarbuck's cold brew in it. Hey, Anon. You guys need something? Nah, no, just wanted to chat a bit since we got the time. There's something in her tone of voice. It's like she's getting ready to gore me with those nubs she calls horns. Sure. I'ma let you two get together. Or I'ma let you two get a fuck! I'ma let you two get to whatever. I'm gonna go for a refill. He shakes his thermos and heads for the door. What's in that, anyway? Don't ask. Fair enough. Wait. Fuck it! So, land on you and Fang. You and Fang what? They've been talking about you. They? The tiny triceratop rolls her eyes dramatically. 
Feng. Feng's been talking about you. All good things, I'm sure. Feng's, Feng's been talking about me? That's dumb. Oh yeah, the phones. All we've been doing is more lab work and science. Last Thursday, I tried to remember how to make a railgun. To show I could, of course. <laughs> I could make one too. She seemed unimpressed at the time, but... Was it about making a railgun? Uh, yeah. It was. What exactly are you talking about with them? It's just science stuff? The railgun is something I happen to know, though. Picked it up from an old game. Trish... Trish raises an eyebrow. <laughs> right. Well, I do ask. You learned to make a deadly weapon from a video game? Her tone is flat, unlike her chest. I wouldn't say dead. Don't interrupt! Why would you think that's a good idea to make a weapon in class? How did you not get in trouble? Spears actually did talk to me. It said something about... Trish grabs the bridge of her snout. This is why men are useless. She continues to mutter to herself. All of it is incoherent. Is there a point? She rounds back on me. Anger painted clearly on her face. Look, Anon, you might be into that stuff, but leave Fang out of it! They have better things to do than... than... than play with some man-child's lethal toys! Whoa... harsh. Ritz... Ah, ah. Reed slumps into the seat next to Trish, sipping on his thermos of... Just... Oh, just agua, bro. Thermos of water. What the... What did I miss? I'm just trying to tell Lan on here that he shouldn't be telling Fang how to make a fucking gun in school! Why not? We've been over this! We have? When? Less than five minutes ago? Thought we were talking about Anna? Yes! And specifically, we were talking about Anna's gun! Heads start to turn. <laughs> Reed grins at all. <laughs> Reed grins. Ah, Reed grins at the ball! Then how about these guns? Reed places his hands on the back of his head and flexes his biceps. Okay, Reed's growing on me. He's kind of a dork. Trish's face blur is a blur of emotions. At first confused, then fucking pissed. Then aroused, then back to fucking pissed. All in the space of an attosecond. What those? The one he made with magnets! Like, how do magnets work? Ding dong, bing bong. Once the students giving the clock a blank stare stand to attention and file out the door. Uh, uh, Damn it, Reed! Trish punches Reed in the shoulder, gives me another evil stare, and saunters out of the room. Hey. Reed pats me on the shoulder. Bruh. He gives me a thumbs up and exits as well. Leaving only the substitute teacher looking at me from her desk impatiently for me to leave. Guess it's her lunch period too. Mm. Oh god, what's that? Ah! Ah, rah, 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 rah. Oh, there it is. What's a good stopping point? Jesus Christ. Maybe at the end of this day? Maybe at the end of the day? Real voice! Real voice reveal. This is my real voice. I'm a chain smoker named Bethany. It's up here. Remember you feeling it? Ending one is a good stopping point. Oh my fucking god. 
12%? Wait, is this one of those games that says... No, it's not. There's some visual novels that they have like a little percent marker. That tells you how far you are. Jin Rollinsinger, Dolores, Epic Magnets, how do they work? Get the trains review! Uninstalling is a good stopping point! Is everyone a snootkin except Anon? Anon's a self-fencer! Ending 4, a bust. 15%? Not even first chapter finished? Are you fucking serious? How are we feeling about this game so far, chat? How are we feeling? It... Okay, hold on, I'll let you guys vote. How are we feeling? Enjoying it? It's okay? Don't... <laughs> Don't care! Shucks. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the game so far? Bless you! Thank you! Nails here, thank you, Dolores. I dig the crazy voice changer. How many do you have? Um, I have, like, voice mod installed, but it adds, like, a weird audio delay. So I could use that for, like, infinite voices. No, I forgot how to make it work, though, with this. Um... But it's just, it's just like volume, or not volume slider, it's just like sliders, basically. So, I can be like... Once I have the FX button enabled, I can turn reverb up and down, I can turn echo up and down. Echo. 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 Um, that's a different echo from the other one. I can turn the gender up. Oh my god. I sound kind of like a chipmunk or some shit. Holy fuck. And then I... I can turn it down. I I can't really hear myself when I use this one, so I'm not sure what I sound like. I can turn that back up. Um... And then pitch! This one! Makes me sound like a And I can make it go down. <laughs> Slime can slip. Uh, no, that's a different thing. Wait, where, why does my voice sound weird? Where? What? What is? What is on right now? What is on right now? What the fuck? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Now, Slimekin is hard to... which... will sync to whatever, um... thing I have. Whatever music is playing, it like matches the key it's in. And then there's robot voice. I can do robot... Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. I remember when you tried to kill me twice. <laughs> and then there's megaphone! Oh, this one's not as good. Well, this one's a little bit more light. I like the megaphone that I have on my other settings. But I changed to a different thing to mess with these. And then I can combine them. I can do like megaphone with the gender adjustment. Oh my god. Hello everybody. My name is Ira Jessica and this is definitely my real voice. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to play some Xbox with me? I was hoping you could carry me in Call of Duty later. Um... Uh, oh my god. GoPro. Exception. And uh, failed. Whatever. Okay, I don't know why. Um... And I could combine, like, megaphone and robots. And we can turn into Moscow. <laughs> Or hard tune and make a phone. Oh my god. This sounds kinda weird. Imagine boxing with Dolores. Pippa, Kipboga, cross. Kipboga, cross over Wayne. Oh yeah, we're gonna harass scammers. Oh! Tim Can Audio, yeah. But coming at us with the authentic Xbox 360 Love It Top microphone. You know it! And then here in like all of them on. Ooh, it's kind of interesting.
I'm older. Hold on. Maybe like this one, and then this one a bit. Uh, I don't know. Okay, 60% of people are enjoying it, and 27% of people think it's okay. Okay. I am pleased with the results. I'm not gonna lie though. Is this is this sacrilege to say I I like class of 09 better? I in a in a weird way I think class of 09 was like less political, ironically. <laughs> I maybe just like handled the political stuff better. Like in the other in the other game it was more it was more funny. Whereas with with this one and on not being like witty with stuff as much, it's more like. Oh, you made the same comment about, like, the they grammar again. Come on. Come on. And you can say, like, the cold overused jokes as well, like, about the teachers being pedophiles, but, like... It was usually in reference to the teachers doing, like, pedophile things. Yeah, the political stuff in 09 was all comedic. Yeah, this, this feels a bit more, like... Less like it was meant to be fun and more like it was meant to be like... Yo, dog, look at how shit the game this is based on is. Look at how, look at how silly all this is. Ah, dude. I'm like, eh. That being said, though, I am still enjoying Snoot Game. That's not to say I'm not enjoying Snoot Game, because I am enjoying Snoot Game. It's just like... Playing it right after Class of 09 was kind of a mistake. I played things in Lores. 09 voice acting was better. Ah! Okay, buddy, listen! Nicole was unwillfully ignorant and on his willful. He's kind of a dick to people who are nice to him. Like, I don't understand what his issue with Naomi is. She's been so sweet. Fugu thing to the voice acting was on point and made it better. Yeah. Safe edgy? I don't think Class of 09 was safe edgy. Nicole was a sociopath? Yes, she was. There's a boyfriend. True. That's the reason Anon doesn't like Naomi. Naomi is sweet. She has been sweet. You know the Miss Super Chat list? It's on the longer side. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we'll probably call it here for tonight. We'll probably call it here for tonight. Naomi is clearly pretending? What do you mean? There's some Crusader Lugosi thing. Realize the politics are red herring. I won't say more. Oh? Well... We're still only part way through it, so there's there's still a lot that can happen. Things can change. Why do I have so many DMs? Oh god. Um at least they're from cute girls. At least I have lots of DMs from cute girls. They say, yeah, there's a mod called Grillkin, you motherfuckers! You fucking baited me, you assholes! Where's I had cute girl DMs? Shut up. Shut up. Mm. An original name! Thank you for the $20! I don't play games like this much, but I have been playing something called Don't Take It Personally, babe. It just ain't your story, and I think it has similar vibes to what you were playing now. Background noise, things, Lars. Now you only got that mammal fever. Uncle Halling, but Lars Class of 09 hit me like a brick because I bought it after watching five minutes of your stream and didn't want to spoil it. Getting shot was fucking wild. <laughs> but stays winning. You can answer your DMs is mom. Yeah. I wish I had DMs. Do it over Class of 09, you'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Month of the DM, rabbit. Yeah. You can't close the deal with these cute girls. With the cute girls, though, Pippa. In this game? Can you not... Can you not date any of the girls in this game? We could date girls in class about nine! Where's your voice, bunny? Wait, 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 Super Chat Liz! Hey, Super Chat Liz! Archive Bro! Archive Bro! I think I said... Super Chat Liz reading, right? Archive Bro! Where are you? Oh. 
You said hold it? Did I? Did I say no? I'm dumb. I thought you said you weren't gonna do it tonight. I'm dumb! I wanna, I wanna read some super chats. Well, I don't want to, but... <laughs> okay, bro, has been summoned. I mean, I can post it. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm sorry for being confusing. I'm sorry. I said hold it, did I? You said you'll call it tonight, uh. Well, I don't know. I feel like my memory's going on me. <laughs> I feel like my memory is fucking evaporating. My, like, short-term memory. And I'll see things as long as your narration is a treat. Probably what people like it. Oh, thank you. You said you were going to skip. I did. Uh, I'm sorry. Anti cannon thing with the lies. Hey, just bought the Lumen Art. I regret nothing. Oh my god. Oh, somebody else? Hold on. Let me. Somebody else is making fan merch and they are t shirts. They're really cute t shirts. They're not out yet. But... Mom, 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 mom. I don't know if I'm technically allowed to shill fan merch. But I just kind of do it anyways. I feel like it benefits everybody, you know? It's like, I don't get a cut from this or whatever, but like... You guys get merch you want. Small, like, independent businesses get... Stuff. Like, like money. Then... Attention. And a sense of accomplishment. And for Face Connect, it's like free advertising. That's the thing with the five dollars. You spent most of the stream talking about something else. Of course, nothing interesting is happening. You're barely at the beginning. What do you mean? I spent most of the stream talking about something else. What are you... Bro, I had like a ten minute tangent. About Baiju and crop tops. And then at the beginning, I spent like 15 minutes with the game. It's like, it's like less than 10%. This was a very low tangent stream. What the fuck are you talking about? I specifically held off on tangents. Jeremy Main, thank you. Holy shit, thank you for the $300. Holy fuck. Buy a dehumidifier. I, I will buy a dehumidifier. Thank you. Jesus Christ, thank you. Zane Radio, thank you for Your hat sold out. Uh, Dread Pirate Rapper saying the dollars boat snoot game, do it for Fang, our beloved. Airline food, thank you for the ten dollars, boat Pokemon, I don't know more. Our green experience, thank you for dollars, thank you sex, please! Blood McGorb, thank you for the ten dollars, snoot game, snoot, I look forward to be pretending they never like this because it's too mainstream now. <laughs> and I'm exceptionalism, thank you for the big TV. Bye bye, turn 12! It's my birthday, can you sing me a song? Happy birthday, anime exceptionalism! Happy birthday, animal, a animal, animal! Happy birthday, anime exceptionalism! Happy birthday to you! Foxtrot, thank you for $5, I'm sorry. Incognito, thank you for the $10. Starman, super, thank you for $5, I'm not sorry. Foxtrot, thank you for $10, my fellow Snootopians. This is the opposite of Gaslight, Girl Boss, Gatekeep. Also a reminder to throw bricks at Starman. Happy dawn, thank you for $10, there's a R02, ROR2 mod that adds Fang as a real gunner. Incognito, thank you for the $2. Oh my god, bye bye! I got an active thing with Dolores feeling better yet, please! I am feeling quite a bit better. Hacker noise thing with Dolores, what if the DLC revolves around him? I'll have a heart attack, because I'll be too happy. If the new if the new Pokemon DLC has like major coal rest plot points, I'll just die, I'll be too happy. I'll play it once on my own. Just so I can truly experience the happiness. And then I'll play it again on stream. I think I have to complete the storyline, which means I need to... Which means I need to... Make a new save file. To play there with you guys. Oh, Red Thing with Fondolores! No one but you cares about this character, Yabbit! Fuck you! Red Pirate Robert Thing with Fondolores! Dumb Rabbit! Colrus has a husband! Now! Mighty Mom Thing with Fondolores! I think I support the meds now. Heh. <laughs> Panification Thing with Fondolores! Pipty! You won't have to worry about that. I don't think anyone else is as special as you. Anti Annihilator Thing with the Fondolores! If you want to put your mind at ease, mentally list all canonically married characters in Pokemon. Professor Kakui? Jesse and James at the end of the manga?
Ash's mom at some point. That's the thing with Dolores. Colrus is married, but you're his daughter. That's too fucked up. That's too wrong. And... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, Giovanni. Giovanni had a kid. Just remind me that's Ash's mom. No. Ruin it for her. I don't, I don't want to think about the things that would do. Chris P, thank you for the $2. This is more relatable than you know, to be honest. Ah, bad timing. Eric Dividends, thank you for the $2. I heard you have mold cancer. I don't. I don't do anything for $5. I wouldn't do anything for Culver's. Let's test that theory. Ha, ha, ha. By God, man, thank you for $2. Just bring your scythe there. It has blades. Joe, I'm Joe. Thank you for the five. Post it test. It's not illegal. Joe, I'm Joe. Thank you for the $5. Will you make a plush? You have Culver's wife. He misses our... No! Listen, if Colrus has a wife, I'll have to either adjust my personality to skinwalk her and be like, she's literally me for real, for real. Pray that she's already just like literally me for real, for real. Or... You know, pray for like the, the like dad route, you know, of like... You know, you know, there's like... The, the, there's something special about, about men after they've... Like divorced men that have a child, you know, they have their own appeal to them, right? That's that's it. That's its own like, that's its own appeal. You know, just have the dad like like Dilf, Dilfs. You know, Dilfs. <laughs> Some strong copia. Nah, it's like a whole thing. People love like Dream Daddy. That you know, you guys know that game, Homewrecker Pippa. Well, for chorus. <laughs> the home record. Leave me alone. <laughs> Just read the super chat list. <laughs> ah, Joe, I'm Joe. Thank you for the. Oh, I read that. Fluffy Moon can't even do dollars. Covers belongs to me. Wrong. Oh. Um. Uh, thank you, Desarts, for the 333. Cope. Sweaty fat guy, thank you for the 777. Since I got thank you for the five dollars. Should we commission Culver's art with a foxy grandpa hat? Foxy grandpa, what the fuck? The McDoodle thing with the five dollars. Don't worry, Culver's looks stupid. They would never add him to another game. Fuck you! Victor Martinez, thank you for the two dollars. Pop tart. Also, Culver's has been getting lots of attention in Pokemon Masters EX. So listen, listen. The, the developers care. Well, that's a different studio that does that game, but you know, like he's he's popular with the with the developers and stuff. He has like an interesting, you know, like <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Masters EX. Roy cut thing with Dolores. Bro, where's the fang feet? You know, see everything, Dolores. I don't feel like sending you money to feel better. Okay. I see play there's anger for the two dollars. I see unicorns on between more staples than this. <laughs> I had an argument with my co-workers about <laughs> ironically. Okay. Okay. Listen. Rules for thee, but not for me. But, like, unironically, right? Okay, I was talking about how, like, if you're, like, a GFE streamer, right? You should not do even group collabs with men. Because it's... It's like... It's 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 literally like a... Like, 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 a, like a pipeline. Like, unironically. I know I made that joke, like, male VTuber to carousel... Uh, to cock carousel pipeline. Male VTuber collab to cock carousel pipeline. Like, tweet. Right? That was, like, a joke. Right? But, like, unironically... There are some, there are some VTubers that I watch that have done like group collabs with men in it and I just, I just know it's over. I just know it's over because then they're going to start collabing with men. And I'm not like this with every female VTuber. Like I'm, there's some female VTubers, like Kirsha, you know, Kir I can watch Kirsha streams and her collab with men and they don't fucking bother me. Right? I can watch Sleepy. It doesn't bother me. I can watch Tenma. It doesn't bother me. Right? But there's just some streamers where they're selling you a specific experience. And I, it's just when they do the male... Do, do a group collab with a man, male in it. It's just... It always... It always... Because here's the thing, Jet. Here's the thing. Is VTubers in the West, they like to do like the flirting back and forth kind of like joke stuff. And it's fine when it's between women. But the problem is, is when it's a group collab, you'll have two female VTubers flirting with each other, like, jokingly. And then the fucking male chimes in and it completely ruins it. 
And then like, and then like they collab or whatever in the future as well. Or the VTubers like, oh, well that went well. I guess I can collab with male VTubers like in general. And my audience will be fine with it. And it's like, no, no. You are selling a specific experience to me. And now you are pivoting and you're, you're bringing, you're bringing weird shit into it. Just don't. Again, not every, not every female VTuber like gives that experience. Not every, like, there, listen, listen. <laughs> she wants a refund. No, I don't. It's just different streamers have different, have different content, right? Different streamers have different content. So, naturally, there's going to be some things that ruin that content, right? Like, if you're like a pro FPS gamer and you play an FPS game and you suck at it, then it's like, okay, well, I don't... Like, that was your content and now you're bad and I don't want to watch you. Whatever. Or uh, you're like a Minecraft streamer. Okay, I'm watching you play Minecraft and now you play fucking Terraria. Well, now I don't want to watch you. You know, like, it's... Like, there's some things that just ruin the content. You know? <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't sound schizo. Up and on the air with five dollars. Warning! Without spoiling, ending one intentionally crashes the game. I got noise anger, Dolores. Pippa gonna burn her Lumi shrine someday. I, I could handle Lumi collabing with men. I, I could... It could be... Is Hollow Live X Hollow Stars okay? It depends on the members. Tango Mango, Tango Mango, Tango Dolores. They hated her because she spoke the truth. Like... Okay, like Mori. I can watch Mori collab with men. More, more, some of Mori's best collabs are with men. But there are certain other members of Hollow Life. I don't think one time, Pippa, are you talking about Niji? Why would I, I'm, when have I brought up Niji Sanji? I have not said anything about Niji Sanji. When have I said anything? I watch, I watch Nina. I watched Nina and she's fine in Mel Collabs. I was fine watching Nina and Mel Collabs. Nina Koska? But, um... I don't know. I don't know. Just, it's just, it's just everybody's content is like different, you know? Everybody's content is different. It's just bait. It's just bait. Uh, Matthew Roycook, Damon Dinoise, please get E1. It's your personal gosling moment. My love do you think with Dolores Pippa is a unicorn who hates men confirmed? I mean, with some streamers, yes. Yeah. Like, men just ruin some people's content. It's just, it's just true. It's just true, chat. I'm not saying I hate all men, I just hate when men interact with streamers that were selling me, like, GFE content. I did Lombardo, I think the five dollars. What mode were you playing in your dream and why was it probably TTT? Totally not anything, Front Dolores. Alex Yick is trying to kill me. Stepwinder, thing with Dolores. Pippa Harem. Rabbit Raccoon, thing with Dolores. Speaking of drinks, do you like Pog Juice? What? Punch Time, thing with Dolores. If your husband don't makes you happy, then you've won. That's men do thing with Five Dolores. Can't you just wait for Kaneko Kovris and his beautiful wife? <laughs> oh god! Let me thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Pippa, that art you're commissioning of yourself with Colrus isn't not safe for work, is it? No, I would never be able to look at something like that. I would be... I, I, no, no. No. I, I have limits. I have limits. I have limits. Start clothing, fun dollars. You're right, Tip. If Kirsa had a boyfriend, I would be disappointed from the loss of her stories. But if you did, I'd be like, we fixed her, chat. We did it. One joke, man, and fun dollars. Don't mind me just contributing to the Pipkin Pippa Psychiatric Medicine and Therapy Fund. Jesus Christ. He does sing and Dolores praying on the defenseless OG sons. If the defenseless OG son is Colrus, then I'm a doodle thing of find Dolores every time I think Pippa's getting a little better, she starts Colrusing. Uh, Pika here, I think of 500 yen. I don't like how some game streams. Uh, I don't like some game streams my VTubers produce. I don't want to strong arm them into not doing that content. I just don't tune into those ones. True! I'm not saying you should harass people or whatever, or like leave nasty comments when they do do that kind of content. But I also think that, like, some... It's gonna sound mean, but sometimes streamers kind of bring it on themselves where it's like, you knew what you were doing. You you knew what you were doing. 
the, the streamers that specifically say, like, from the beginning or whatever, like, hey, this is, like, this is not that. Don't, like, whatever, like, like, don't try and police who I collab with or whatever. I think that's, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think they should be shit on for that. They're, they're literally just establishing the fucking, like, lines for the content early. If anything, you should be grateful because you're not, you're, you know, you're not getting your hopes up that it's gonna be like a GFE experience or whatever, you know? I think it's really dumb when people, when people go after streamers for shit like that. But... If you do like... Like, going on a date ASMR, and then you're like, Oh my god! How could you... This is not, like, in reference to anybody. How, how could you... How could you, like, be... Upset that, like, I collabed with men or whatever. It's like, well, because you did a date ASMR. Of course, of course people expected something. Of course people expected, like, a specific kind of content. Because they're already used to that kind of content. From other content creators. And other content creators have kind of established, like, what the... What the genre is. And that genre does not include male collabs. So... Again, you don't deserve to be harassed or whatever, but... GFE is cringe. You're wrong. You're stupid. You're wrong. Frankly, thank you for I did not have some of my birthday money for Culver's Merch Fund. Well, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, Bradley! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bradley. Happy birthday to you. Dragon Cool, thank you for the $10. I'm looking forward to this. I have 50 bucks riding. You'll get a certain ending first. Bungo Bingo Tango Bingo thing with the two dollars. Remember chat, this is I can fix her, the game. Uh nobody? Thank you for the Oh, did I miss something? I thought they were ten dollars. Be careful, Dave and Colorist Pippa. I've heard there's a lot of DV in these types of relationships. Oh my fucking god. Uh Daniel Wolf thing BV. I'm loving this honestly, this game. Let me TP thing for Dolores Pippa. There's a difference between selling GFE and the people who think they're being sold GFE when they're not. Yes, I know. I've never disagreed with that statement. I've, I, I, I entirely agree with you. Do you? Yes. Yeah. But if you do stuff like date ASMR or like, what's, what's like, what's like more examples of? This? See, this is like hard to talk about because like everybody has like done some kind of shit, right? So, like, no matter what the fuck I reference, people are gonna be like, Oh, are you talking about this person? Or that person? Or like, oh, oh my god, blah, blah. is unhealthy and actively can get in the way of real relationships if these people are actually as attached as they act. Okay, well, fuck you. You probably drink coffee to get through the day. Who are you to shit on other people's coping mechanisms? Oh, Taylor, thing for Lars. I like the time when Matsuri was flirting with other female VTubers, then they both offered to let the male VTuber to grow up their chest. It was hilarious. Oh, I love Matsuri. Matsuri is like the anti GFE. Matsuri is anti GFE, and she's fucking, she's fucking based. I like the, I like the. I think it was more recently her her collab with uh, Aster. And is that his name? I can't remember. He's part of he's part of uh, Hollow Stars JP. She's great, she's great. Astel, Astel. Uh, nobody thing with the fine dollars. The way you spit past horny all the time. Mark great experiencing with delicious chill the coffee. Buy coffee, buy coffee, drink coffee! Isn't Astel be a beetle? I have no idea, I don't watch him. Matthew Roy Cook thing with 10 dollars. I'm gonna shoot, snoot up a rock bar! Matthew Holly thing with dollars. Pippa based, DFE based. But to be clear, again, I'm not a DFE streamer. I like GFE. I watch GFE chat. I think GFE is a completely fucking valid form of content, alright? And I think, I think, yes, it's gonna create, like, a lot of, like, parasocial attachment and shit, right? And, and there's, like, some downsides to it or whatever, but that's, like, literally the same with everything. It's, it's the fucking same with everything, right? It's like, oh, sports, people get overpassionate about their sports teams and shit. People, people feel betrayed when their favorite players move to a different team. It's like, it's the same shit. Oh, the Merkel Hopper thing. Fun Doors counterpoint GFE streamers should collab with men because watching the Sims see the null is funny. Yeah, as long as it's not my GFE streamers. Yeah, other other GFE streamers can do that. Not mine, though. Uh, wow, that thing with Dolores. Which lolies names, rabbit? No, Rock'em Sock'em thing with Dolores. 
Thanks, Pippa. You had me worried for a sec. Think right anything with the five dollars. Pippa, why do you have posters of miners? Do you yearn for the mines? Last thing with one dollar. Speaking of, I should hang up my webbing talkie, the one from the gotcha boxes on my wall, Pips. Yeah, I could hang that on my wall. Fishman sent me one. He didn't send me the uncensored version, though. Kinda cringe, not gonna lie. Kinda cringe, not gonna lie. Uh, Jack Crowling from Dolores. Well, an entire stream watching someone who can't play... Who can't read play visual novel. Classic... Well, fuck off. Was there the 121? You like GFP streamers? Name 10, then. I can't name 10, but Fauna? All in Shadow? Um, there's this one dragon girl. I can't remember her name, but she does like these little ASMR. I don't even think she does actual GFE, but it's just it's, it's my GFE. It's my GFE. Um, Aletta. She's not Aletta anymore. But dynamic doodle thing. My Lord, it's okay, Pippa. You're not GFE. Just admit it. You're 100% gay. Fuck you. Fauna is not GFE. She's GFE to me. Oh, and Shadow's GFE. Yes. What does GFE GFE mean? Girlfriend experience. Didn't Fauna sort of stop with that, though? Here come the 10,000 comments. Oh my god, no, this doesn't count. No, blah, 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 blah. no, no, just no. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, what that isn't GFE, you're off your meds. Whatever. The slasher thing, front doors. I just finished the hunt, Leo. Play this now. My favorite VTuber plays this. Okay, this is epic. Yes, keep up the good work, and you smell like mold. Uh, more, more. Empower Maniac, they were 10 dollars. Collected audience, which then expects certain content from you. Makes sense. Issues with creators get put into boxes. Issues when creators get put into boxes by audience, not themselves. There's always group thinking when they're watching GFE. She's real to me. GFE is such a massive cult. Wow. If you, if you disagree, then whatever. Fauna has openly said she isn't anything to her audience. I know she's made the statements like we're not friends, you know, we're just uh we're just viewer and uh streamer. She's done stuff like that. But it's it's the content like the ASMR and chit chat. Again. Uh Alex Hilling from Lawrence, I remember I still wanted to buy Laplace's Yuri ASMR. She made it in Ross and Laplace said he is the only one not allowed to buy it. Night Owl, thank you for the $2. What's up, Pippa? Love your streams. Today was my birthday. Happy birthday, Night Owl! Pippa Culp? It's not a cope. it's... I watch this content. This is the vibe I get from it. This is how I enjoy it. If that's not how you watch it, then whatever. Wait. Nene Mono? Oh, I like Nene. Oh, I like Nene Mono as well. Unbiased opinion here. GFE slash BFE is kind of exploitative. I guess. I don't care. I enjoy it. Brian Lane, thank you for the $50. Thanks for the med fun. Oh, for your med fun. Uh, hope your chest is feeling better. Enjoy your stream. Thanks for various content. Hope you do a watch along again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Daniel Sierra, thank you for the two Are you SRE or LSE? Small rabbit or little sister experience? I, I don't know. Naturally naked thing for the $5 fun stream. Can't believe you simp for... Chang Sung stilts! Jesus. Anyways. Double 10. Double 10. Double 10. Double 10. Did you pick a dino plushie for tonight's lap plush? I did not. I did not. Actually, I just have Baiju. Big little mouse thing for $5. Get out of me! I should grab a. I should grab a dinosaur plush though. Next time. Next time. I have a. I have a pterodactyl from Belzy. And. I have. I have blue. And. The baby blue. From Build a Bear. Hmm. Nene Amano, best girl. I like Nene. Yuko GFE kind of fire though. Doesn't doesn't Yuko also say she's not GFE? No, oh, how dare you? How dare you? You enjoy somebody's content one way. Ooh. I consider thinking with the five gifty piece. Does pterodactyl have a name? No, pterodactyls aren't t aren't dinosaurs. I know. That'd be a lie if she said that. She's definitely GFE. Hmm. The viewer decides who is GFE. I agree, Lachismo. I agree. Living TP thing, fun That faceless monstrosity is not me. He has no bolter or no chainsword. 
The furries are alive for the Emperor, and this guy can't handle women. Uh, Rabbit Raccoon in front door. So if Pterodactyl has a leg disability, does it need a wheelchair, or would it just fly instead? Uh, the Margarita experiencing went to more like Parasaurus. Back on noising, Dolores, you can't dino shame Pippa? You literally did boyfriend roleplaying? I don't remember. Whenever I watch Yuko, it's been like hand cam stuff. Still know what GFE means. Girlfriend experience. Is Tenma GFE? I, I don't think so. She collabs with males. Pretty often, I think. And like, fangirls over males? So... Like, really often? So, I, I don't think I'd consider her GFE. Tenma is drunk and experience. Yeah. Eric Jimin is with fun dollars. When Colorus eventually gets a wife or a girlfriend for the new DLC, are you gonna have another Ben and Jill stream to holler at the voice actress? I might have to do a Ben and Jill stream. Even Gaskin thing with dollars. Oh man, the series is gonna be so scuffed, I can't wait to see it right off the rails! Clay Pigeon thing will come big pee Anon looks like the hat merchant without his hat. Matthew Roy Kirk thing with the $10. Hunter, I'm a solid thing with the front doors. Why does every male dino look so breedable? Like, for real, bro? Nazar is bussy hunter, though, so not him. What? Pippa the Paladin thing with the $10 for your based opinion on the Umineko community. It is... Oh, it and Higurashi are some of my favorite media, but the fandom are sort of... Are the sort to cancel people over the wizard game. Makes me feel ashamed to have dysphoria. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why the Higurashi and Umineko communities are the way that they are. Cause like... I don't know, I remember for a long time, it's like the only people that were into Higurashi and Umineko were like... The more hardcore weebs. Like it was more... it was a more... I don't wanna say like niche weeb series, but... It kind of was, you know? Like, it was, like, 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 even when it had, like, an anime and stuff, it was still kind of, like... Like, everyone considered it, like, like, a classic, but not, like... Like, it wasn't getting, like, fucking merch in stores or whatever. Well, what's helping thing with the Mars? Do Ko and Nags really count as male collabs? With Tenma? Tenma's collabed with more than just Ko and Nags. I can think of Albino off the top of my head. They got infiltrated then. Hmm. Is there anything with the two dollars? The fandom became Twitterified, unfortunately. Did you robotic thing with dollars? You'll either become a scaly or go to Walmart on them. Background noising with dollars. Anon didn't do anything, and he's still in trouble. Uh, Anon thing with the sixty-nine. Okay, man, on if you're still in the stream, make that fat tomboy wheelchair alligator even sadder. What the fuck? Dragon Koo thing with dollars. Do a bitchy kind of voice for her. Douglas MacArthur thing with the ten dollars. Why are there furries? <laughs> Technically, they're scalies. Uh, they're featheries. Uh, Louis Rivera, I think it was a 333. Boo Boo, I think it was a $5. Happy, uh, birthday money. Your birthday money or my birthday money? Because it's not my birthday. Uh, Von Talke, I think it was a 690. Back our noisy or Dolores. I think you've had too many drinks already. Funky Ron, thing think Dolores. You should have had some milk with your fellow. What? Here's Tim, thinking think it was a Dolores. Pippa voice acting career win. Never. Oh, I think it was a $5. Wanted star. Uh, Jack Crow, thinking think it was a $5. Pippa, please learn a different language so you can stop butchering English. Fuck off. He's a little thing with a 7,500 pounds. Hi, since the day I found you, the company sales have decreased. And today, they have started to, they have decided to close. I'm sorry, Izu. I'm sorry. Um. Izu? Izu, the company sales decreased because God is telling you that you shouldn't work there. There's another place. There's another place that you're meant for. And it's going to be more tailored to your interest. And it's going to be way better with way better co-workers. And you're going to get paid probably a little bit less. But eventually you'll stick around for long enough and you'll feel so passionate about your job that you'll start making more than you did. Because it's not as dead end as your other place. You're the other, you're, you're other workplace. Is there not applicable thing for the $2? 10 months older drunk co-worker experience. Why would Pippa do this? Shut up. Not the ATF thing in Dolores. Actually, Pippa suplex is pronounced souple. I don't believe you, to be honest. 
Uh, potato radio thing for the 1337 could be worse. I was at a jazz fest where a girl unironically sang, You say potato, I say potato. Not different, i.e. potato. Oh. You say potato, I say potato. Okay. Jim's only for toys. Here's some more of my beer money, rabbit. Oh, yeah, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The person with the name that I can't read, whose wife is salad. Thank you for the $10. Thank you. $10. 10 gift PPs. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that money didn't come from selling your wife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dollars. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Hero Man, thing with the 33! No sassy jokes, I'm having a great time with your stream. Open question. Uh, would you like to voice audiobooks? I'm aware of LibriVox books. I pictured someone getting surprised because they hear a VTuber's voice around some old book or short story. I would happily do an audiobook. Pay me. Ah, oh, nothing with the $2. You one guide yourself. Uh, I don't know, I think with the 333. Magnets, how do they work? Is any out of pause with the $5? Why Pippa Mary Bird? She's bunny, not a burb. What is it with Dolores? Yes, the femboys and traps can also wear it. Oh, that thing with Dolores. Huh, the femboys and the femboys. I'm not a femboy! Uh, Daniel's here, I think the two dollars. Pippa, how could you cheat on Colorus with a woman? Shut up. Carlos, I think with the two dollars. He also presents as female. Fuck off. Mr. Draw is with five dollars. But who? She's a femboy who likes femboys. No surprises here. Fuck off! Lord Brown, there, I think with the two dollars. I think you like Sai from Naruto. One thing with the five dollars. Pippa likes gay men. Me too. Colrus and Baiju are gay! Did I say they were the five dollars? Pippa's trying to spend that big gay propaganda again! Well, you were there, I think, with the Lord 20. Flat chest equals flat. Can't believe my Uji's a dude. Fuck off. Yeah, Crow thing with two dollars. Is Pippa secretly a gay man? All evidence says yes. Relax, I think, with the five dollars. The penis is real. Oh my god, back on noising with the two dollars. That's why I cool Pippa, but we have a game to play. Well, then I'll think for the 121. He does look like... He looks like he does low and high favors. So you're saying he's beautiful? Like a bingo, tango, mango. Thank you for the $1 days where people has not sexually harassed their co-workers. Zero. Uh, pyromaniac thing from $1. Frequently bought together. Choker, male. Knee highs, male. Kitty ears, male. Three away, thank you for the $2 opinion on well-groomed facial hair with glasses. I like it. I like it. Background noise, thank you for the two dollars. He wears Crocs with athletic socks. Asher Genesis Genesis, Genesis thing with a four ninety nine. Colors would look great in Chippendale's outfit plus a suit vest. What does Chippendale's outfit look like? That's like Isn't Chippendale's like Hooters, but it's men? Chippendale's outfit? Okay. Over our spans, I think with the 420. What a waste! Palm's forehead, the poor children! I think with the two dollars, Miss Piff can't be help but sound southern. I mean, I think with the two dollars, the KT can come soon enough. Since I think with the fifteen dollars, you will never have a soon today sorry Sarah top girlfriend. That's the point. Or what's the point? Why did Land Before Time program me this way? Hey little mouse, thank you for the two dollars. Night Pip's gonna play Baldur's Gate 3 with the boys! <laughs> nice and nice though. Nice and nice though. You can hear anything with a 500 yen! Is this what being a misanthrope feels like? I want bad things for all these people. Uh, Agent Cobalt thing from Lars. GBH is life is strange. If you took out anything remotely interesting or entertaining, does the we are going to play D&D thing too? Money laundering game? Ooh, life is strange would be a good rage game. Life is strange. That's one of those weird games where people who actually like video games will still like it for some reason. I don't know how that happens. Sounds okay, thank you for the two dollars. Your name is Bethany. I thought it was Philippa. Zero thing with the two dollars. Pippa's an AI confirmed. Better horn thing with the five dollars. I hate visual novels, but these streams have been really good. I think I have a crush on Nicole. I don't know. I think you can get her VA on for an interview. You know her voice actor is not her, right? Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. As somebody who's talked to the voice actor of one of their fictional crushes. Let me just tell you, buddy. You're in for a world of disappointment. No offense. Van Gogh Fair, I think it was the $5. I looked this game up and it's more of a rabbit hole, heh, than I thought it'd be. Alrighty. Um... Should 
Exactly, I suppose it's in mod chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... It's just, it's just Bang Blunt! It's just Bang Blunt, right? Like, it's a fictional character, right? And, and it's like, the voice might be part of them, but you need to learn to separate them. Big Bad Bear, thing of the 333. Water, fire, air, and dirt. Fucking magnets, how do they work? And I don't want to talk to a scientist. Y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed. I forget how this goes. She's yicking, fuck off. Is there anything on two dollars? Valor, Mystic, or Instinct? Team Instinct! Matthew Royker, thing of Dolores, have you pipped the school yet? What do you mean? Hello, better than anything with the two dollars. It sounds like you have expectations on streamers. I do. I do. And it always disappoints me. But I enjoy watching streams too much. I haven't had as much time, Lily. I haven't had as much time, Lily, to watch streams. I put them on and then, like, my mind blanks and I don't retain anything. I just don't have... I just don't have the brain processes. So, like... I keep track of multiple things anymore. I'm too... I'm too... I'm too... All, all brained out. My brain is all brained out. Please do a cover of ICP's Magnet Song. And you'll see everything with Dolores. But disappointment is mean. We call it content. Oh, fuck off. All right. Ah. Uh. To do a Pokemon Black and White 2... ...stream... ...after this. Or to not. That is the question. Go rest. Do it tomorrow. Ah. <sighs> after this is in tonight. Go to bed, rabbit. But I have all these emotions! I have all these emotions inside! Yeah! I got to lift them out by screaming at pixels on the screen! It's the only way I know how to handle my emotions. Go rest, babe, a woman moment! Just stream it tomorrow. You really should sleep. I, I managed to take a nap before this, like I said. Or tomorrow, instead of an extra hour of... Uh, instead of after an extra hour of super chat reading. Mm -hmm. I'm West Coast and I'm tired. Take a cold shower, it'll curb your passions. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> but that would have gone in the new Pokemon to you me! <laughs> I just... Please sleep. English, please. <laughs> Let's raid Oroga. Or who is this person? They're playing League of Legends. What is this? Mr. Earthing the Dwarves, can we stop the new Colrus arc before it starts? No. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Um... Who is this person? No, lol, Lee Kate. But it's somebody we've never raided before. I don't usually get options to raid other... to raid other VTubers. Orgway? Okay, we'll raid Orga. We'll raid Uga. Maybe I'll see the other person online another day. Oh, two friends! I'll see you guys tomorrow! <sighs> if anybody has good guides on how to lucid dream, you send them to me. 